in about the new character from Smash Bros. Oh, right. Any good? It, well, it's Steve from Minecraft, so yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Hello there, Viking. How you doing, buddy? Howdy. Awesome, awesome. Let's wait for the other ones to join. Yeah. Um, I know that luck's gonna be a little late. Uh, by the way, guys, just so that you know, you're being on stream right now. Oh, hello, everybody. Hello there, B. Uh, hello. hello. I don't know who's watching, but whoever is watching. And we get <laughs> Neffy in. Perfect. Hello there, everyone. Um, can you look, hear me well? I can wow. hear you perfectly. I can hear you so well. You cannot even imagine how well you sound. And with this, um, looks going to be a few minutes late, which mm -hmm. is, well, it's actually useful because I've got a few things to say. First thing, all of you are currently being streamed. So please misbehave. And with that, welcome everyone to tonight's session of Curse of Strat. And welcome everyone watching us. This is our first mm -hmm. stream, so please forgive us any technical issues which might and possibly will have. Um, I am not a professional dungeon master nor a professional streamer, and same goes for the rest of the group. We are doing all of this in our spare time and for fun. I don't own professional recording equipment. We are just a group of friends who really enjoy playing D&D &D and... Um, we thought to ourselves, well, our campaign is quite amusing and perhaps some people would have fun watching us. Um, since we're still waiting for one of the players to join us, uh, I'm gonna hold my horses on introducing the team. Um, first, I'm gonna go through a few little announcements here. First thing, while this is the first session we are streaming, it's actually 38th session of our campaign. If you haven't played Curse of Strahd yet, but are planning to, beware of spoilers ahead. Also, please be aware that while this is uh, while the base of our campaign is the official module Curse of Strat, I do allow myself a level of freedom as a dungeon master to modify and change things as I see fit. Um, so please don't start pointing rules at me and uh, parts of the module. <laughs> um, before we move further on, there's just a few things I want to bring up here. First, I'd like to give my big thanks to Tabletop Audio whom creates advertising free, free to use, immersive ambience and music, which I am using for this campaign. Please check out his website, tabletopaudio.com. You can also find the link in the top right. Give this man a recognition that he deserves. Second, I would like to thank Foundry Virtual Tabletop team for creating a one-time purchase, self-hosted, feature-rich virtual tabletop software. They provide a fair business model and uh, extremely customizable playing environment. I have moved to Foundry a few months back from another virtual tabletop provider, never looked back. Uh, please check them out on foundryvtt.com, again, link in the top right. And last but not least, we are a non-profit stream, but if you enjoy watching us and would like to show your appreciation, please consider donating to Josh Evans Trust Fund. This is a charity based in Somerset County in the United Kingdom that is helping people with diabetes, specifically children and their families in Somerset. They are amazing people who are doing a lot of good. Please check them out on G uh, J E T. So, uh, so I can talk. Uh, J E T F. Co. Uk. And if you decide you'd like to donate, let them know I've sent you, or don't. That's completely up to you. Uh, you will find the link to their website in the top right. Um, so once we've since we've got the announcements out of the way, and since uh, Locke is not with us just yet, but should be here anytime soon, uh, let's go through some uh, quick introductions. Um, let's introduce the group, shall we? Uh, first of all, uh, I'm gonna go down the list over here. Tolfe, why don't you tell us who you are and who you play? Hello everyone, my name is B, and uh, you will probably watch me struggle here quite often as it's my first D&D campaign. Um, still learning, not regretting anything. Um, but uh, hopefully mistakes will happen uh, less and less often in the time. Um, I am playing uh, Fairbolg, uh, Druid Fairbolg, whose name is Tolfe, and who actually, during the campaign, has the first, um, for the first time, met somebody 
outside his uh, his forests. Uh, and while he didn't plan on finding himself in Barovia, um, he still tries to um, stay true to um, to his let's say agenda and to his life life plans, um, which he finds kind of difficult in the land which is basically dying. Uh, but yeah, that's me. Amazing, thank you so much for this. Um, Muna, why don't you say a few words about yourself and your character? Hi, uh, Nefi here. Um, well, this is my second campaign where I'm playing. So, I'm quite a, quite a new player in D&D, &D, I have to say. And uh, I'm playing a lovely cleric, um, UNT, uh, Mona El Suni. Uh, she's from Kalimshan. Uh, she is a worshipper of uh, Goddess Sunni. Um, she's very cheerful, uh, happy, and very positive uh, person, despite uh, being Yuanti pure blood. Um, she she was traveling through Faerun, she met Tolfei and was traveling with him and they caught up in the mists of Barovia. And yeah, that's pretty much all. Yeah, more or less, that's correct. Uh, I see that we've got Locke here. Hello, Locke. Hi. Hi. Look, since it's your uh, since you just joined in and you are actually top of my list here, um, why don't you quickly say who you are oh. and who you play? <laughs> um, yeah, of course. Um, hi, I'm Locke. I am the only Dane in the party. Um, I am non-binary, so that's gonna be fun. You're gonna hear both me and the other guys absolutely uh, not call me by they them but everything else and that's gonna be great <laughs> including myself that is because i'm we also trying very our bad best. we're trying yes, our best we're all trying our best and and i i don't mind that everybody will fail, fail including myself um but yes i am playing uh the half orc fighter dick warlock or richard warlock but dick is a nickname um, he is from Colmio, originally, and uh, joined the party of in in a in an inn. Very uh, spontaneously, he didn't really have a choice because we were all swallowed up by the mist, or most of us. We have then later on met Valentine and. Um, lucky. I really don't know what I should call Vicken. <laughs> um, later on in Barovia, uh, but yeah. Um, Dick has a uh, back to Dick. He he has uh, a phobia for birds, which is very handy in Barovia. Very handy. Uh, there indeed. is a lot of birds, so. Um, that's fun. It's it's very fun rolling all those wisdom saving throws. Uh, he he's been lucky most of the time. He has only been unlucky when he really needed not to be so. <laughs> so that's fun, <laughs> and that's that's usually how he rolls. He rolls extremely bad out of combat, and then everything comes back in combat. So I guess that's okay unless he needs to stealth because that. That's ridiculous. He, he can never stop. Ever. <laughs> okay. I think that's about it. I will yeah. try my French accent today. Just because oh, that's going to be fun. Why not? Wow, <laughs> that's going to be fun. Something yeah, new here. First time for everything, right? That's the spirit. <laughs> if, you're, if you're trying something the first time, what better time than during the stream? <laughs> yeah. And with and this. Everybody can hear me fail miserably. With this. That's how I roll. Valentine. Please introduce yourself and your character. Ah, uh, hello. My name is Jack. 
I am. Hmm. I am a boring person with a boring life, but these people find me interesting for some reason. Uh, I thank you for that. Uh, I'm playing young Valentine, a hmm, a depressed cowboy with a lot of bad choices uh, that the party tend to listen to, and many of them have led them into fascinating and interesting adventures within this wonderful campaign. Um, he has gone out of all of the characters he was the only one born in Barovia so life hasn't been keen on young Valentine and I'll leave it at that I would say so a depressed cowboy that's me okay thank you so much for this Marlock please who you are and tell us about your character hello um, I'm Marlock uh, Marlock in himself is African American I am not and I know this is going to bring up a lot of debate, but don't worry, I'm not going to use it. Of course. Anyway, um, Marlock is a barbarian, a very simple barbarian. He doesn't talk much, like the party knows that, that he doesn't like to talk much. But when he does, it's always something witty or stupid, and, you know, I think that, uh, that explains him very well. Uh, he is from Rashomon, if I'm correct. I did create a backstory, but it's not so in the detail, so I don't remember a lot of things because our gracious lord and DM helped me do it. Um, but technically, the reason why he is in, um, uh, the, where are we? Oh, God. Barovia, come on! Come on, <laughs> Barovia, man! There we go! <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm having, like, kind of, like, a... Uh, you're, trying to, trying to, you're trying to earn an <laughs> inspira an inspiration? <laughs> go ahead, I continue. <laughs> <laughs> so, continue, man. So bad. Um, either way, the reason why he's in Barovia is because he is following Destiny, basically. They told him to go here. Uh, to basically um, finish off like uh, doing uh, one of his kind of um, hometown uh, quest of growing up, I believe. Is that what it's called? Yeah. I can't remember more exactly the word for it. Yeah, more, yeah or more or less. Yeah, so he has to go out on an adventure and, you know, uh, basically come back with these amazing stories about what happened in this adventure to complete like uh, like this kind of growing up ritual that they have over there in his hometown uh, and he was led here uh, when he got here uh, he met these beautiful people um, especially the Yuan T Muna yes and especially Valentine even though he's the press cowboy we all love him and B honey <laughs> and Dick all of them are beautiful all of them are great um, but yeah I mean you're probably not gonna hear Marlock speak for a lot of the time but I uh, hope that whatever he does speak, you guys enjoy it, because, you know, it's very quirky. He is quite quirky, actually. <laughs> Thank you so much for that. And uh, last but not least, Malakai, our newest member of the party. First of all, I am very much restraining myself from doing, just going full-blown stereotype Irish accent right now. Second of all, <laughs> sorry, because I was going to do it. Um, uh, what I don't even know what to say. I'm a bit like this. Um, so suppose I go mostly by Vicken uh, to the DM and Marlock. I am also named Lock for a different game that I'm in. Um, uh, I play Malachi, who is very John Constantine inspired. So that will tell you a lot without me needing to say a lot, I suppose. <laughs> um, and I only recently joined in like the past. I think five sessions, four sessions. Yeah, something like that. We're on there. I'm bad at math. Uh, yeah, very recent. Uh, the party ran into me while they were hunting down someone, and I got a uh, that I got a uh, captured by. Uh, they helped me recover my items, and I decided, well, I have nothing better to do. I'll stick around with these people. That sounds about right. Thank you so much mm -hmm. for this. Um, yeah, I don't then, have anything wrong. Uh, then there's myself. Uh, my name is Chris Kusi. Um, I am the dungeon master of this lovely group. Um, I live in United Kingdom in Somerset. Um, in my daily life, I am an IT support guy. Um, and, you know, out of hours, I'm uh, uh, throwing people into dungeons and killing them. So, that's fun. Enough about me. Uh, why don't we quickly go through a recap 
of our previous session. Um, who wants to earn an inspiration? Well, unfortunately, oh, no, I wasn't there last time. <laughs> well, no fucking clue. You don't deserve an inspiration anyway. <laughs> yeah, wow. exactly. Who wants oh, an inspiration? <laughs> Who wants All an right, inspiration? So Who well, doesn't I have, have one, one right so... now? Because I don't have one. But at the same time, I'm trying to remember what happened last session. I can't. Oh, you come on, man. <laughs> you should. I'm I'll trying, before yeah. you should. I have shit memories. This is like 10 o'clock in the morning for me. Nefty, like Nefty, time. Nefty, remind us what happened yeah. last session. Why me? Do you have Not an inspiration? Okay. Yes, you gave me one. Oh, <laughs> right, I did. <laughs> I did. Okay, go ahead, Valentine. Remind us what happened last session. I'll remind you of my latest mistake that occurred last session. Um, so, Valentine and the gang uh, start traveling oh. toward uh, Lake Power Talk, where we want to meet our insane wizard, uh, or find this our insane wizard, and slash... Uh, what was the other thing? Yeah, and try to find our friend Rictavio. Who invited us to his uh, hideout? Uh, so we started heading there to fulfill a card given by Mama. What was her name? Madame Eva. Come on, man. <laughs> I like to call her Mama. Okay, I have my own thing. Don't touch me. Uh, <laughs> Madame Eva. Madame Eva. Uh, we've tried to fulfill one of her cards that she's given us, and we try to find an old friend uh, or a new earned friend. As we're traveling, we find a uh, the traditional a uh, a toy made by uh, the greatest uh, the greatest man to ever live in Barovia, uh, Linsky, and uh, it now seems to be resembling our boy um, Malachi. Uh, he gets the Barovian treatment. Who put it there? God knows. But we find tracks within the sign that the dummy was or the toy was uh, hanging from. We find signs of a prosthetic leg, if I'm not mistaken. What you found, what you found signs of, where um, there were those track marks everywhere around the signpost that mm. resembled um, almost like it's, as if someone was hitting the ground with quarterstaff in a way, mm. and yeah. they seemed to be everywhere around the area. It may have been a prosthetic leg. It would yeah, be... but we know that that wasn't a prosthetic leg right now. Yeah, but, but a bit later you found out what it was. Continue, please, Valentine. Oh, I just pieced that together. Good God, I'm dumb. You only uh, now no. pieced it? Oh my God. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> I, only... I have above average wisdom and intelligence. Don't judge me. But uh, no. yeah, so we decide to follow the tracks, assuming it's a, a new friend or someone we assume is a friend of Rictavio. We, uh, uh, yeah, what was it? Now, now I remember. We started moving and we find, uh, mm, discreet, mm, mm, well, we just found creepy scarecrows, 12 of them, um, surrounding what seems to be the road on each side, and there's a crow in the middle of it. Uh, Valentine suggested an amazing idea to our gracious leader, uh, uh, Marlock. And uh, not for long, uh, I know. <laughs> oh, wow, no, no, no. No. I know. Uh, our gracious leader have been given the ability to fly, and he fly, he does. And he, we had an amazing plan, all right. Oh, I'm just gonna say it was an amazing plan on paper, it, it was wonderful, but in execution, however, it turned out quite horribly. Oh, uh, yes. Our gracious leader get paralyzed by multiple uh, scarecrows, get uh, stabbity stabbed by 12 of them. Uh, I don't blame you. Never. <laughs> and, um, but on the bright side, all the all the scarecrows were together in one spot for our gracious second leader Muna to evaporate all of them with a beautiful, well-placed fireball. And uh, scarecrows have been killed. <laughs> we almost lost Marlock. Like we almost lost Marlock. Yeah. And um, <laughs> and and so. As far as I'm concerned, it was a beautiful battle filled with fire, fireworks, and a beautiful cleric lady showing how bright she can be in, well, in the most desperate situations created by your uh, cowboy. <laughs> I'm sorry, guys. Yours, <laughs> yours truly. <laughs> Take a point of inspiration, Val. Thank you. And with this, uh, you actually missed something there. Uh, just as a reminder, 
um, just before the end of the battle, something happened. Someone joined in there. Oh, or, yes. Uh, yes. Um, oh, no. From the sky, suddenly fell down right next to Muna, um, a figure of um, beast-like form, um, almost humanoid, but still beast-like. A giant mm. humanoid raven with blue feathers. Um, one that some of you may recognize. Um, it seems to be the first time that you get to see um, the hybrid um, the, the hybrid form of your good friend um, whose name I just literally forgot even though I had it Muriel. in front of me Muriel, I'm Muriel. sorry my bad, I apologize my bad. Yeah. Chris. okay, I'll, I'll give myself your a character. point of I'll give myself an, an, an inspiration yeah. Um, yeah. <laughs> we deserve three yes. inspirations for this <laughs> <laughs> with this, uh, yes it was uh, your good friend Muriel uh, which seems to have flew down onto the ground, uh, joining the initiative and helping out just a little bit, honestly, because the battle was just at its end at that point. Um, and I'm imagining that Dick kind of passed out. Oh, of don't, sheer fear. don't worry. We're just about to go to you because with the yeah. start of the session, the first thing I would like you to do is roll me a wisdom saving throw. Oh, fuck yeah. I love those. Oh yeah. Now where there we go. Some... Oh, I'm still on top of the order. Oh my god. Da, da, da. Mm. Mm. Would that be a normal or uh, advantage disadvantage? Uh, just a normal, normal one, please. Uh, that's a mm. five. Yep. Yeah, um, Dick, you're frightened. <laughs> I'm pissing my pants. <laughs> you're frightened Wonderful. seeing this. Um. Seeing this creature fly down and land amongst your friends, you feel, no, I'm not going anywhere near that. Mm -hmm. And with this, Marlock, interestingly, we do not end the initiative yet. Marlock, uh, no. is there anything yes. you would like to do as you find that it looks like the last of the scarecrows has been killed? Yes, looks this way. Is there anything um... you would like to do? You're quite badly injured at this point. Yes, I know. I would want to heal, but there's no healing around me. So, should I move? Let's see. What are these? Oh, these are our friends. Okay, cool. <laughs> yeah. Wow. Um, okay. Wow. <laughs> I was like, wait, no, 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 no. I, I was talking about wow. the bears. The bears. The bears. I was talking about the bears. Um, <laughs> I'm going to use my movement to get the hell out of here. And be closer to my friends. Okay, go ahead. I mean, you're, you're pretty close to Moon and Valentine, but you can move closer to the others, most definitely. I'm oh, you're moving right over here. there. All oh, right, I see. Okay, is uh, do you use your action? Do you use your bonus action for anything? I'm gonna use my reaction to like. Well, I'm still raging, right? Uh, you still are at this point, yes. Okay, well, then I'm just going to use my reaction. If I do see anything uh, that's non-friendly move, uh, I'm going to use uh, my uh, Rage C-100 uh, thingy. Okay, so you're you're preparing an attack. Yeah, yeah, there something, we go. Something thing. dangerous yeah, happens, go. you're attacking. Okay, yes. is that the end of your turn? Yes, mm. yes, yes, it is. Mm. All right, gotcha. And with this, you see Muriel right in the middle of all of you. Her wings flapping in place. She looks around with somewhat angered um, look to her. And you see the full moon casting its light down on you all. As Muriel's eyes uh -oh. fix down on the dead crow in the middle of the road. She stops there for a moment and then lets out this very loud screak of anger and pain and madness. She's not herself right now. And she is going to attack. She's going to attack the cl 
closest one. Oh, there's a lot of people around here. So I'm just going to quickly yeah. roll who she's going to attack. Um, mm. even, uh, she is going to attack Muna. Mm. I think yeah. she didn't enjoy your little dancing together. I'm your friend. <laughs> <laughs> Poor Muna. That's what you get from trusting a bird. <laughs> Aren't you passed out? Uh, not yet, um, but 20... I'm shaking my pants. 23 to attack yeah, with her talents. And oh. deals you 8 slashing damage. As the talents, she, she suddenly jumps up, flapping her wings, and you see the talents go in your direction, flapping towards you. Uh, wow. <laughs> yes, um, and you see, like, some of the some of the skin gets pierced by those talons, and you feel some blood. You realize Muriel is not herself. She is angry, and she does not seem to recognize that you are her friend. And she's going to follow this up with a bite attack. Uh, that's a oh, nine to hit. Oh, you can hear Muna screaming in surprise. That's a nine to hit. That does not hit. And with this, um, Muriel flaps her wings, and she... Oh, is she going to? No, there's How way too many... Damage? No, there's way, there's way too... No, it didn't hit. It didn't hit. Uh, um, but talents? Oh, talents? That was eight points of damage. Um, no, she's not going to move. She's surrounded that she's angry. No, she's not going to move. She's going to stay right there where she is. And with this, that's going to be the end of her turn. Actually, I'm going to remove that Scarecrow from the initiative. Um, and... Tolfi, it's your turn, and you just saw this happen. Oh my. Can I, from this distance, command anything to Bears? Um, you most certainly can, yes. Uh, they're still under your control. Okay, so I would like to command them to grapple her. To, to keep grapple her. They yes. will they will follow your command to the best of their ability on their turn. And I would like to move um, to be closer to all of that. Go ahead, move your token. Here, let's say. Mm -hmm. Um next to Dick mm -hmm. and just put the hand on his on his shoulder uh, you know with like the tense posture all mm -hmm. around me because I see what's happening but I wouldn't like Muriel to get hurt mm -hmm. um, and I look at uh, Dick from the side of my eye and I am like deep breath deep breaths Come on, in and out. In and out. We okay. need you. Come okay. on. <laughs> Are you using your action to help Dick overcome his uh, terrified um, status? Yes. Okay. I think you're going to have an advantage uh, on your saving throw. Uh, when, you, okay. when you roll next time. Is that the end okay. of your turn, Tolfe? Yes, it is. Okay. Dick. Go ahead yeah. and roll me, uh, roll me a wisdom saving throw with advantage. Oh, that'll do. Oh, French, French noises. French noises. <laughs> French noises. Natural Ooh. twenty. Not only, Ooh. not only do you collect yourself, you also manage to beat your fear a little bit. Um, sorry. Do you mind? You manage to defeat your fear a little bit, and from this point onwards, uh, your saving throws will have a DC lower by one. Awesome. Uh, yes, uh, Tolfe, marry me, because I need you. <laughs> I'll consider that. It is your turn at the moment. What would you like to do? Well, I... I, I Dick feels calmness. Calm him, <laughs> or oh, Tolfe, calm him. That nice, big, soft hand on his shoulder is just mm, massaging, 
some softness into his being, and uh, he was so close to shooting that bird lady immediately, just like he used to do when stuff goes down. So he tries to stay calm, and he's like, okay, okay, I need to go in and tackle that lady. I guess. Muna needs to be safe, um, but I don't think I can get close enough. I can get over here. Uh, Maybe no, there. You, 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 you can easily get there. You got thirty feet of movement. Well, I I go over to the lady and I say, "Stop that." Okay, are you trying to are you trying to grapple her then? Uh, yes. Go ahead and roll me your athletics or acrobatics. No, sorry, you roll athletics, she rolls acrobatics or athletics, okay. Roll me your uh, athletics, please. And <coughs> she's gonna roll acrobatics against you. No. It was actually kinda hot. Unfortunately, no, no. You try to jump towards her and sort of grab her wings and pin her, pin her down, but you do not manage to do so, as it seems like she's too quick. As you kind of move towards her, she flapped her wings in your direction. Um, just moving a little bit away from you and also covering your sight just for a moment. So you did not manage to succeed. God damn it, that was pretty high for me. Come on! <laughs> Is that the end of your turn? Can I try again? Um, <laughs> yes, yes, you can, because it's actually an attack. So yes, you most certainly can. <laughs> I will try again. Go ahead. What's and I'm gonna roll her acrobatics again. As soon as it's an attack, what? What the fuck? <laughs> it's an attack! Come on! This time it's you actually... She rolled a 10. So you actually... Ooh. She tries to flap her wings again, stopping you yet again from grabbing her. But you grab that one wing with one hand, and then sort of pull yourself closer, and get a, hold, get a strong grip on both her wings, with both your arms. Uh, and you just see her wriggle around and screech out. Is that the yes. end of your turn? Uh, besides saying, come down, little lady. Stop struggling. That is definitely my turn. Roll me persuasion I, with I disadvantage. Just... Okay. <laughs> I do want to say, when, she's doing, when you're doing this, I'm pretty sure the whole party's kind of shocked by you doing this right now. <laughs> oh yeah, oh yeah. Like uh, Everyone's guys... like, wait, hold on. Yeah, That's Dick, Dick, right? That's our Dick. Dick, Dick just <laughs> ran at a massive hybrid humanoid bird. And is grappling it. That's not like Dick. Yeah. Um, with Who are this, you? <laughs> Muna, it is your turn. You've just been attacked by uh, your friend, Muriel. Uh, she's now being grappled by Dick. What would you like to do? A uh, reminder: you are still able to fly. Yes, you are. Uh, I'm still dying. Yeah. Okay. Uh, but I don't want to run away from Muriel. I would like to try to calm her down. Mm -hmm. uh, so as uh, Dick is grappling her, uh, I would like to put my hands on her shoulders and with the calmest voice told to her, Muriel, it's us, it's our friend, it's your friends, it's Muna, it's okay, the but the battle is over. Roll me a straight persuasion check. No advantage, no disadvantage. You would normally have advantage, but you would have disadvantage because she's it's full moon, so, so. Mm -hmm. Okay. Twenty-five. 25. Interesting. We're gonna see the effects on her turn. Uh well to to the rest I will say please don't hurt her. You do um, so. End of my turn. That's the end of your turn. Valentine! What would you like to do? Hmm. What would I like to do? Um, just going to... Yeah. Uh... Hmm. Hmm. I would like to hold an action, and I'm gonna prepare my Eldritch Whip. If that lady... <clears throat> if that lady misbehaves, I'm a whip. Okay. Yeah. I'm gonna get rid of those scarecrows, actually. Oh, that reminds me! Marlock, mm -hmm. we missed your we missed your action. You had a reaction there because uh, Muriel attacked uh, attacked Muna. Did you want to take your attack against her earlier on? Um, I'm gonna say that in the situation, how Marlock still saw her as her friend, 
uh, or as okay. a non kind of friendly, as it's not gonna happen. Okay, that fair way. enough. I'm gonna get rid of yeah. those uh, scarecrows because they're kind of in the way, and uh, I don't see tokens properly. There we yes, go. that's better. All right, uh, so you're not attacking her. Okay, oh, go ahead, uh, Malakai. What would you like to do? Uh, Malakai, being completely confused by this situation, uh, not not to do. Uh, bonus action. I'm going to give Bardic Inspiration to. Uh, I don't know who to give it to. Here. <laughs> uh, do you know what? Dick is currently holding her in place, so I'll give it to Dick. Okay, you do so. Um, Did you say anything to him? Uh, Jesus, um, I'm trying to get the voice now. Uh, Dick, you seem to have a handle here. Just keep her, keep her held. Just We don't know what's happening. I don't even know who she is, but she is important to you, so hold her still. And then, as an action, I'm going to cast Charm Person to see if I calm her down a bit more. Ooh, interesting. Uh, she... What save does she need to make? Uh, I'll put it in the chat now, but I believe it is Wisdom at Disadvantage. No, at Advantage, because she's being held by two people. Okay. Or being... Well, it was attacked, in quotes, for the grapple. Okay, well, let me do so now. DC 15 Wisdom. Uh, 21. Fuck. Unfortunately. Is that the end of your turn? Yeah, action bonus action, I'm not going to move away, so... Okay. With this, um... We're going to move to the turn of the Black Bears. And the Black Bears were ordered to grapple her. So that's what they're going to do. <laughs> uh, so there's going to be... Oh, that's that's going to be one pinned Muriel. If... Let's see, because they, they, they're pretty strong. So let's see. Um, it's going to be athletics three times. And let's see how many of them are going to be grappling here. Mr. Uh, President, get down! That's a natural <laughs> one. That's a nine. That game, so. And that's a, They roll like shit! Oh. Those bears suck! Um, wow! Wow. Wow! None of them succeed! Uh, <laughs> none of them succeed! Three oh, bears! You just saw three bears! Trying to grab that one bird, and not a single one of them manages to get hold of her. She's flapping around too much. Dick, my hero, you're stronger than bears. Mm. Oh, he, he actually is. He actually is. <laughs> and with That's this, it is Marlock. It is your turn. What would you like to do? I'm gonna go in for the grapple. Okay, you guys are. You guys, you guys have no mercy. Go ahead. Athletics. Yeah. And I'm gonna roll athletics. Like athletics. Yes, please. Athletics. athletics. Check. Advantage or disadvantage? This is Dick. Um, her. I'm gonna say advantage because Dick is already grappling her. Twenty-three. Yeah, that's enough. That's enough. That does it. Um, Woo! yeah, you like Dick is sort of holds her wings like he's got like his entire arms around her and just like holding her wings in place. Um. You just jump on her and, I don't know, grapple her legs or whatever. She's she's not moving anywhere. <laughs> she's not moving okay. anywhere. Whatever, however you want to grapple her, but she's not going anywhere. All right, then. Um, however, this is another attack on her, technically. Uh, do you actually have a second attack if you want to use it? Do I have a second attack to use? Uh... Yes. Um, by the way. You can make uh, an uh, you can make an attack that does not kill. Uh, they're called uh, I forgot the name of them. Uh, how they're called, Jack? Non-lethal. Non-lethal. That's the one. Lethal? Yeah, you can you can make a non-lethal attack if you want to. It's up to you. I don't really want to hit her, so no, I won't use it. Okay. You will not use it. Okay. Uh, is that the end of your turn? Uh, yes. Gonna move us to the turn of Muriel. What is Muriel going to do? <coughs> because she's still kind of being harassed by everyone, even though Muna said the calming words. She's still kind of being harassed by everyone. Come on, I rolled 25. Yeah. Yeah. I'm yes. not sure if harassment is being grabbed the right by two word. Yeah. Burly men. Extremely exotic burly men. 
Hold on. <laughs> I'm, just, I'm just saying. I'm just saying. Even though I agree. Even though you agree. In my situation, I'm, I'm, I'm act different, but she she's different. So, I'm going to say that she's going to roll a wisdom to see... Actually, no. She's going to roll charisma saving throw. Charisma saving throw? But I'm not going to give her advantage on that one. So let's just say normal. Uh, no. Actually, she... Actually, I... Ah, uh, yeah. She could have succeeded on natural 20, but that, that, that was the only chance. No, no, that's not a success. Um, okay. So, being held in place, you hear her screech out a few more times. But starts relaxing. So, unless any of you changes your mind and decide that you actually, yeah, you want to kill her, then we can end the initiative here. Anybody wants to kill her? No? Okay. No. It's tempting, but... Uh, mm. uh, <laughs> Muna is gonna kill me if I do it. I open the gates of Babylon and I start throwing weapons. And with this, Smart. we are going to end the initiative. As you all manage to sort of hold her in place. Um, and it doesn't look like she's going anywhere at this point. And let me just change the music a little bit to something. That will do. And let's get you guys back onto the map of Barovia. You find yourselves on that road, uh, surrounded by those dead, destroyed scarecrows, unmoving. Um, actually, no, they. There is some movement from them, from like all those um, larvae and uh, bugs spilling out of them. You also notice some body parts spit out once in a while as the bugs move around. Um, those were stuffed of some pretty gruesome things. <laughs> and you see Muriel still in her hybrid form, no longer struggling against you. But still, letting out once in a while, just lets out that um, those soft squeaking sounds. It, she seems to have calmed down, at least a little bit. Guys, I think you can let her go for now. Are you sure? Yes. Uh, Marlock slowly releases. He does. Does Dick release her? Definitely. Okay. Dick, you... Both of you take your arms off of her. She... Slowly straightens up her wings. And flaps them a few times. As of making sure that they are... That they haven't been broken when she was being held. And she flaps them... Twice. And uh, starts slowly getting up in the air. Anybody stopping her? I just... Uh, Muna just looks at her and uh, at the dead crow. I'm truly sorry for your friend, Muriel. You don't get a response. But you see that the full moon is still up on the sky. She doesn't seem to be completely herself at this moment. It doesn't seem like you get as much understanding as you would normally expect from her. And if nobody's stopping her, she starts flying away. I'm not. No, no one's stopping her, I believe. You see her start flying away. <coughs> Towards north, at this point. No. And with this, you manage to defeat the scarecrows and the ambush that was set up. Was it an ambush on you? Unclear. And you are free to either follow the road a little further. You can probably travel uh, travel another hour or so uh, before you set up a camp. Uh, or you can choose to investigate the area or do something else. While watching um, 
Uriel um, getting up in the sky, Dolphe uh, approaches Muna and puts the hand on her shoulder very gently. Are you okay? Yes, yes, it's nothing. Um, I'm fine. But speaking of uh, Marlock, are you are you okay? Are you feeling better <clears throat> a bit? Marlock is looking like shit. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, Marlock's, yeah, basically Marlock's gonna say, "I don't look. I don't feel very bad right now. I feel like I might just pass out." Sorry uh, about that. It wasn't your fault. We could have known. We we wouldn't have not known either way. It was a good try. Oh, <laughs> well, my idea was to just burn them, but okay. I put wow. my hand. I put my hand on Marlock's shoulder and cast healing word. Healing word or or oh, okay, healing word. Okay. Yeah. Uh, go ahead, roll health. Marlock, you recover Hi, five hit points. Nice. It's and not much, it. but... It's a it's Thank you. <laughs> Anyone else I'm sorry. need yeah. my assistance? Mm -hmm. This is what the first that? fight I came unharmed. No, I don't <laughs> need your assistance. Okay, uh, do we want to... Wow. Do we want to move down the road or um, set up camp here? Well, well, maybe not exactly here. Uh, I don't like the look of these maggots and human parts. Ugh. Yeah, they don't yeah, look... But... That does not look very good, actually. Yeah, but... but... Haven't Don't we you... tried to cut you off, Tolfe? But I'm gonna say, <laughs> DM, can you re describe what the area? Because remember, you last session described about a boot and blood and a crow. Yes, okay, so let me re describe the area. Originally, mm. there was um, 12 scarecrows, six on each side of the road that seemed to be mm -hmm. surrounding um, an area around a dead crow that from this point. Standing where you are right now, you, you easily see the crow. It seems to have been... It hasn't been killed. It's been massacred. Someone actually opened the body of that crow. And its intestines and everything inside of it is basically flipped around it. Like, it's been... It's gruesome. Uh, can, even, even if you're not really, you know, touched by animal suffering... This crow suffered before death. Um, there is a boot that is standing just about 15 feet away from you at this point. Um, it seems to be either halfling or um, child-sized, I suppose. Mm -hmm. um, and it's standing uh, just below the location where one of the where one of the scarecrows was originally standing uh, there was a remains of a actual foot in there yes, right yes correct there seems to be remains of a foot inside of it oh yeah Valentine well, would be going there go ahead Tofe. um well Tofe seems kind of undecided but he's looking at Muna first, and then slowly at Valentine, and he just scratches his neck. Well, I wouldn't really like to sleep in here, but don't you find it a little bit strange? But right in the middle of the road we took, they were just, you know, waiting for us? Maybe not for us. Yeah. Well, since we are here, everybody is trying to kill us, so I suppose it may very well be for us. Uh, it's full moon. Weird things happen. He picks up the boot and looks inside of it. Uh, he's going to discern how lo how rotten is the foot, DM. It's not it's rotten at all. Hmm. It's rather fresh, actually. 
Maybe a few hours. Few hours? Okay, like he just tries to pull the foot out. Um, go ahead and roll me sleight of hand. He's doing it carefully. He's not like he's not he's not strong to begin with. So mm -hmm. there's not even another option. Eleven. No, it was it was a DC check. Um, you take the foot and you slowly have to sort of pull it out, twist the boot a little bit around, and you manage to free it. Um, you see a foot. Hmm. It's uh, definitely it's been separated from the body. Um, mm -hmm. it's bloodied, obviously. Mm -hmm. Um, it doesn't it doesn't smell yet. Uh, can I discern what kind of foot it is? Is it like a kid or a halfling or any roll small me creature? Roll me investigation. Yeah, you see Valentine that like holds the foot and just like oh. look at it and investigate it, fiddle with it. Investigation. Ooh, goodness! I would like to throw my go ahead inspiration in there. Go ahead. Mm -hmm. Is that fifteen? <laughs> As you sort of look around the foot and like you kind of look at from all the angles, etc. Um, normally, halfling foot uh, tends to have a a bit tougher, um, like underside, whatever it's called, uh, heels and mm. stuff. They tend to be a bit rougher to the touch. But these ones are quite soft. This is a human mm. foot. A kid. A so kid, most likely. Yes. <coughs> I would just like to say. Go ahead. That uh, while Valentine is, you know, just standing there and looking at the foot um, torn from the body and watching it from all the sides, Dolphe just looks at Muna and is like, good choice. And then he goes to uh, Scarecrows, you know, just to see, um, well, to check on them what. What is it? What what kind of ab abomination is that? How how it was created in the first place? How it was created? Or okay, I'm gonna say um, hmm, Romeo Kana. No, I know what it was. Twelve. Um, with that twelve, you take a look at the um, at the whatever's left of the scarecrow, still kind of bulging and moving around underneath the um, whatever whatever that thing is called um, in English. Fucking um, hay. That's the word. Underneath the hay, mm. you just see all the <laughs> movement from like all the larvae and all the bugs inside of it. Um, and you start investigating it, like you kind of crouch down, you take a look around it, uh, kind of move the hat a little bit, and had like and had to go like like ugh, because almost something crawled on your hand, you know. Um, this seems to be, judging from your, from your own knowledge of nature and um, from your own experience with this sort of thing this isn't something that this isn't something that would create itself on its own this is not a creature that would just come to be scarecrows don't just come alive this has been created on purpose you're not sure how and you're not sure by whom but it's been created on purpose with a purpose in mind Somebody, whatever whatever has happened here, somebody has done this, and they did it fully knowing what they are doing. So they stabbed the scarecrows with the remains of people. Um, that what it's, it's like? um, possibly, or maybe the scarecrows did that on their own. It's hard to say, but. The actual movement of those scarecrows and whatever magic has been powering them. This isn't something that would um, that would occur randomly. This isn't just something like, you know, there's a lot of those things in the Barovia that, due to the corruption of the land and things like that, just things happen. This isn't one of these things. This happened because somebody wanted it to happen. 
I see. Okay, I after the investigation is done, I get up and just look around, you know, to see whether there is the place somebody could possibly observe what is happening with the scarecrows. You know, like check. Come on. You look around and you try to mm. notice whether there's anything that may have been looking at all of this. All you do notice is that on the trees around the path, um, there are several ravens that slowly start landing there. Um, it looks like ravens start gathering around this area. Hmm. Uh... Muna uh, will go closer to that raven. You do so. Um, can I assume that I can have like a piece of cloth or something? Oh yeah, definitely, hundred percent. Yeah, I would like to cover uh, the body of that raven, like to wrap wrap it up in in the cloth, mm -hmm. and look at Tolfe. I th I think we we should bury it. He does. Does. <coughs> does Dick, you see all these ravens? Um, Dick, roll me perception, and Muna, uh, you also roll me perception. Mm -hmm. Ooh. Okay, so that's a roll I know. First of all, Dick, nah. Yes. You kind of, you still kind of um, have this a little bit of a rush after. Holy shit, I just grappled a massive raven and I'm okay. Oh yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm the man. I'm the man, you know? Still have this yeah. bit of a rush to you. And it's like, oh yeah, okay, I'm good, I'm good. I can, I can fight, I can fight birds now. Um, Muna, yes. from this distance, now that you're sort of above the raven and you're sort of wrapping it around and seeing it closer, it's missing one leg. Valentine, oh. mm. um, do you know anyone who could need a um, raven leg to, I don't know, cast spells or do some kind of token? Um, he looks at the foot like he's holding, <laughs> looks mm -hmm. at the raven. Mm -mm. How far was it from it, the raven? Um... Maybe 15 feet away ish. Mm, so, not too far. Not too far now. As she asked that, he's slowly moving toward you, holding the foot. Um, and as he gets closer, he looks at the raven. And he's going to say, Maybe witches around here find uses of all wicked things in Perovia. And as I look down at the raven, how small does it look? How young? Pretty young. And uh, as I see that, just look at Muna and just go. But I don't believe the leg of this raven was taken for such token. I think um, this uh, foot that you're holding was was its. Well, maybe it was traveling in human form and got ambushed by the scarecrows? Could be. Hmm. <sighs> it's a young That's kid. so sad. He hearing about the witches, um, Tolfe suddenly gets angry, and you see that, like, it's very, um, very visible, but the uh, hair on the back on, on, of his neck, um, like raised a little bit. And even though you usually see him being either calm or grumpy or confused, or the combination of, of these three, right now he's furious about something, but it's very difficult to say what might have caused, uh, what about the, you know, this conversation might have caused such, such a reaction. Mm. But he doesn't say anything. 
he just gently um, takes the bed from Luna's eye with a question in his eye whether he may take care of that. Uh, yes. Um, yes, uh, here you go. Uh, we definitely should make a little burial for this little guy. You can you can tell that Muna is really touched by by what happened. But that 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 was a actual actually kid, and she's really sad right now. I'll make sure that he gets back to the earth. Do I notice the gathering ravens slash crows? Perception. Ooh, 100%. You do notice that ravens seem to start gathering around the area. More and more of every moment. They don't reveal themselves as much. They seem mm. to be sort of lingering in the trees. Just like they fly just above uh, uh, above the uh, Svalich woods. And they fly down and just sort of linger in beneath the, beneath the trees. They don't get close, but you do feel watched. Mm. Assume that Muna is as well seeing this crows? Oh yeah, definitely, yes. Um Valentine? any unique ones? Sorry, just DM. Any unique looking ravens? Um much like blue feathers, you know what I mean? Not, not really, like... no. They don't really look mm. that unique. Mm. Blue feathers seems to be only a thing for that particular raven. Yeah, yeah. Just double checking to see if any of them stand out. Not really, no. Um, look at Muna. Do you think it's a good idea to bury uh, this raven? Why not ask them? Uh, well, why not ask them? Indeed. C could you, Tolfe? Tolfe goes to. Uh, you know, under the branches where where he sees that, uh, like the biggest gathering uh, of the birds sits, and he looks at them, uh, and um, you know he's trying not to look at them too intently, um, to not to see as the danger to them, and he very slowly reaches out to them with the bird in his hands. Only animal handling. I think you have advantage um, per normal being uh, the shepherd druid. Okay. Spare animal of advantage. Uh... 22. One of the ravens flaps their wings and flies down on your hand. Just kind of sits there, um, you see it watching right into you, very intelligent eyes. I'm sorry about your brother. You're, you're not quite sure, like, you can't tell for 100%, but you're almost sure that the bird nodded. And you just noticed a small tear coming out of its eye. Chris, you're killing me. <laughs> oh, nephew. Oh, so... Back it up. We would like to honor him. Will you let me? This time you're a bit more sure about this, that the bird just nodded. I, I, I don't think that he met a good death, and if you will allow me, I would like to purify him um, with fire. 
Is it okay? Again, a nod from the raven. Thank you. And then he kneels uh, gently so that, uh, you know, he doesn't shake the bird sitting on him. And he starts um, gathering the little pile uh, so that he may burn the body of the bird. Roll me survival check. Oh, yeah, easily. Um, you fairly quickly find a bunch of uh, dry leaves, dry um, uh, dry sticks, just like just enough to form like this little, just like this little uh, fire that you could uh, easily burn the bird's body on. I put the body of the bird in the pile, um, put the fire on it, and I. Uh, Add the little um, twig of mistletoe and um, then I start to whisper something but very very quietly the party doesn't kind of really distinguish what I say apart from the fact that it's it doesn't seem to be the common by the way the uh, raven moved on your shoulder Mona moves closer to Talfe and uh, the pile. I say farewell to the bird, um, hoping that he will find uh, his way to get back to the nature. And I watch as he um, slowly uh, gets on fire. So you all see as this fire starts swallowing the remains of the bird. The fire itself changes color for a moment. Just a greenish one. Just a few moments. And once it swallows the entire body, no longer need to rope for perception. Everybody hears the crows letting out noise everywhere around you on the trees. It sounds almost like a cry, but it's those caulking noises everywhere, everywhere around. Dick. Yeah, I was just about wisdom. to say... Yeah, Romeo yeah, wisdom throw. Yeah, I'm wisdom saving throw. I'm gonna say with advantage. I'm gonna say with advantage because you've got your friends Ooh. around and you just had a natural 20. Um, you... Here you go. <laughs> let me take a... Hang on, hang on, hang on. Let me, let me take a look because you had your DCs lowered. So it actually might be... Actually might do it. So hang on. Let me just double check. It actually does... You actually just succeed. Nice. 13, nice. 13 just succeeds. Um, Good job, dude. Yeah. That's so, what friends are for. That, <laughs> yeah. It, it wouldn't have succeeded before that natural 20. Um, so, yes, with that 13, um, you kind of look around, there's like birds everywhere. Everywhere. There's like hundreds of them at this point. Tolfe is nearby? Yes, Tolfe is nearby. Uh, yeah. But you. Yeah, it, it spooked you for a moment, but mm. you managed to collect yourself. Um, yeah, I, you I are still in control. closer to like standing in Tallface's shadow, mm -hmm. just because he's that taller than me, so I can do actually do it. You can easily do so. And Aww. the body of the raven is swallowed by fire. As you all stand there in silence, or does somebody say something? Mona will definitely say that she's hoping that uh, it's found its peace, peace and will fly freely in the afterlife. You say so? You had the caulking from the ravens just a f almost for five minutes. They were all loud everywhere around you. And after five minutes, quiet. No more sounds from them. 
They are only sitting there and watching the rest of it. Next thing that I would like to do mm -hmm. would be... Uh, uh, I would like to light up the torch and try to burn the remains of uh, Scarecrow. You, Scarecrow's you can, plural. You don't even need to roll me for that. Uh, easy enough because they are actually very weak to fire. So... They are made out of straw, so you easily do so. They, you set them all on fire one by one, um, and you just hear the little popping sounds from the larvae still inside of them, splashing their internal liquids around as you as you burn them. Surprisingly enough, Muna seems not to be moved by the gore and this. Casting views. A calm she's face just... while killing millions. She's just doing her job. <laughs> just doing her job. Murderer. You do so easily. Uh, takes about 15 or so minutes, 20 minutes, 15 minutes, until most of the ravens flap their wings and start flying away. Some mm -hmm. of them still stay around. Not all of them. What would you guys like to do? Like I, you deserve to a uh, word of explanation about blue feathered uh, raven. It's actually our friend Muriel. She's a war raven. Uh, we meet, met her um, almost at the beginning of our journey I'll be right back in a second but you guys continue okay yeah. and we uh, well saw her in her human form and raven form she helped us a lot I take it that's why you weren't killing her then that's why we were trying to hurt her yeah, she wasn't herself. <sighs> Apparently, Full Moon is doing some stuff. To... We were told that before we left. There was yeah. that camp, though, about the werewolves. And I said that it may be a better idea to stay there. Well, now we're here. Not through. Yes. I think we should travel for maybe 30 mi more minutes and try to find ourselves um, some fairly safe place to rest. And if we see Just... more scarecrows, burn them. <laughs> that I agree with. The... Yeah, bring more fire. Fire is always good. Um, said, said in a very French accent, of course. <laughs> <laughs> um, look, take a, look, take a point of inspiration. Take a point of inspiration, please. Um, okay, with this, you gather yourselves around and do you decide that you're going to move on, travel for the next half an hour? Um, just before we uh, we leave, is the raven still on my shoulder? Um, the raven once like once you guys start moving, the raven flies off. Um, but when you're still around, it stays on your shoulder. Okay, I would like to um, to um, you know to to look at it, and I see that all of the party is slowly gathering. Uh, but before I say my goodbyes to the bird, I, I would like to, to ask it first. Mm -hmm. I know that the wound is still tender and it will be for some time still. But do you know what happened to your brother? Who set these up? He, uh, you know, points at the uh, burning remains of the scarecrows. Mm. 
does it know? Um, no, let me make a roll. Hang on. Give me a second. No, it doesn't. The raven shakes his head lightly. It does not know. I see. Thank you. And stay safe. And then he, um, you know, he makes sure that the raven flies away. Uh, yeah, it will. It will. As, as soon as, like, yeah. as soon as you make a movement that suggests that you're moving away from the body, uh, the raven flaps its wings and flies away towards the tree. I watch him go, and then um, I get up. Uh, gather my things and join the rest. You do so. And with that, the party gathers together, and I'm assuming you guys uh, start moving? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. yeah. With this, um, within the next half an hour, you guys can move just about a mile and a half or so. So I'm going to move you guys just about over here. You move just about, just over an, over a mile, maybe between two miles and a mile. And the night seems to have set in. The sky is clear, so incredibly clear. You guys are not used to this. You can see the stars in the sky. And the very big glowing moon that almost that actually casts dim light in the area. Very strong light from the moon. The area around you is quiet. You do, once in a while, far in the distance, you all can hear some, um, mostly wolf noises. A bit further on, um, mostly towards the south from your current direction. Uh, but not always. But they seem to be further on, they don't seem to be in your immediate area. It's... Quiet, very quiet. You don't actually hear birds, you don't hear any crickets in the grass or anything like that. The wind, only once in a while, moves through the area and sometimes just drops a few leaves off of the trees. You find yourself a place fairly near to the road where if you would want to you could set up a camp or if you'd rather do that you can try pushing on or you can search for some particular camping place hmm what do you all think well we need to take a rest definitely there is no reason to be exhausted, so let's sit down. <laughs> let's have a nap. <laughs> this is amazing, Locke. This is absolutely amazing. <laughs> I just yeah. Yeah. You're doing, you're doing yeah. so I will, well. I will end a yeah. uh, sentence that I do. It. I will end it in French. I will start in British, but I will end in French. Okay. <laughs> so let's stream now. This is the first time we actually hear Locke speak. Or try to imitate. Mm -hmm. Oh, I'm impressed. Please continue doing that. Yeah, I, I should remember to do my hissing noises. As well. Oh no! Oh, no. oh yes! Oh no! Oh, yes! Oh no! Oh yes! No! <laughs> are you guys trying? To, are you guys trying to get a minor concussion there? Let's go back no, to the session. Don't. Don't bring this up. Let's <laughs> let's go back to the session, shall we? Yes. All right. Um, uh, so. This seems like an appropriate uh, spot. I think we should. No, me. Yeah. I, yeah. I, I lost the accent I was doing. Um, I think we should. Uh, no, 
I think we should rest for the night here while we have a chance before we run into something that wants to kill us again. Just trying to suggest you know. Sounds like a good plan. Looks okay. like everyone's on the same page. Is it uh, any around us uh, like a fairly good place to rest, DM? Brawl me a survival check. I'm not really good at those. Can I do that? <laughs> Can I do Sure, I will allow two people to roll. Alright. Is it let's see, what, let's see what Marlock's gonna roll. Me? Oh, I thought... I thought... I thought... Uh, no, no graceful, graceful leader is always you. Valentine, could you stop? <laughs> survival, He's right? Not survival, please. Anymore. Come on, Marlock. Okay. Uh, well, I'm not any better. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Muna. Um, mm -hmm. Like, Marlock, for you, like, you're a tough guy. If it was up to you, you can literally set yourself up over here on that path and you're okay. Uh, Muna. You kind of look around and you try to find a good camping spot. And there seems to be a small clearing in between the trees, just about 20, 30 feet away from the road. Um, like, you, you can still kind of spot it in between the trees as they, there aren't that many leaves on them. Uh, but you figure, yeah, if you would set yourself up over there, that looks like a pretty good camping spot. There's, there are trees around it, so if it starts raining, you will have some cover. Um, and it, it's just a little bit out of sight. Um, like, if you if you set up a campfire and someone gets close, they will probably see you. Um, but, you know, it's nothing too bad, nothing too major. From, from far away distance, you probably will go unnoticed. So, it's a reasonably good camping spot. Okay, uh, in that situation, I will grab Marlock by his forearm and drag him there. It's like, nope, we're not uh, camping here. We're going there. Marlock, you're being dragged. <laughs> Is she still flying? I am Is lying. she? Are you? Are you? Uh, um, I'm going to say, uh, hang on, because that flying is one hour, ain't it? Yeah. Uh, I would say so, yeah, she can still fly. Um, it passed just like... At this point, maybe... Oh, no, hang on, because you had this entire... No, I'm going to say she still has just about five minutes. Um, it's just about to end soon. Oh, mm. no, then Muna will, like, not grabbing uh, Molag, but, like, fly around him. Like, go there, go there. We're going there. <laughs> I'm going to say... I'm going to say, well, you're really enjoying this, aren't you? <laughs> yes. And she's, like, uh, fl flying um, upside down holding her dress, but like uh, in front of uh, Marlock's face, he has her face. She's like smiling right now. Marlock is trying not to like smile, but like you can clearly see that he's almost breaking. Because we made the comparison to the pixie last week, I'm going to use prejudication to cause like little sparkle effects to like flow around her like Tinkerbell. <laughs> you do so easily. God damn it. Yeah. God damn it, Marlock smiles. He's just like, <laughs> oh, and, and Mona is just like he's grabbing a... his uh, cheeks by her like um, thumb and pointing finger, and is like, oh, you're aren't, aren't you just adorable? As you do so, your dress falls down. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> 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 it oh, covers. Marlock's it covers your face. His eyes. But peek, mm. but close no, his eyes, worry. you know? <laughs> yeah. Let me friendly, uh, friendly reminder, she doesn't wear any underwear. Yeah, yeah. Uh, that is true. Though. That is true. So you yeah. all have a peek. Mm. Yeah. After that, uh, after uh, like a second, she's trying to gather her clothes and like stop trying to fly upside down. Mm -hmm. <laughs> mm. <laughs> you do so My easily. just blushing. Hope you do fine. so easily. Hope you're okay. <laughs> and we, Valentine, we have to do this um, more often. I like that. Flying? Yes. Yes. Yeah. Um, if you like it, I could use it every battle or anything else. 
Anyone can fly, as long as I can concentrate on making you be able to, I guess. Maybe, maybe not every battle, but this is fun. If we pair right. She's harassing uh, Valentine's, like uh, <laughs> trying mm -hmm. to grab his hair. He's like, hold it in, in the air. Mm -hmm. <laughs> does Valentine try to stop this? <laughs> or yeah, does Valentine he give up? Doesn't... He gave up a long time ago. <laughs> you do whatever I... you want. He's just, like, he's just standing there with a blank look and just like his hair being rustled. It's like, hmm. That's happening. Yes. <laughs> I'll, I'll look over at this. Um, if we pair it right, we can make someone invisible while they're flying. Oh I can boy. not so nasty disasters. That is going <gasps> to be that is going to be a disaster from DM standpoint. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> oh <God. laughs> mm. Sounds absolutely amazing. Yeah. But with this, um, with this, you guys move on and you find yourself around the camping spot. Um, you start setting up the camp. I'm assuming. Yeah. Who's doing what? I'll keep watch. You keep watch? Because I don't have a tent. Okay, so you're I, taking, are you taking the first watch, are you? Uh, he's just watching as uh, the okay. people are doing their own okay. thing. If anyone needs help, he will jump in. Okay, gotcha. But he doesn't have anything specific. Muna? Yeah, I would say uh, no need for a tent because uh, I don't want to be inside of a tent if anything happens uh, while I'm not watching. Character development? Character development? Mm -hmm. Well, well she, mm. if it's not a um, full, full moon, she would totally want to uh, set up a tent. But right now, no, 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 no. She don't want to be cut off in the in a tent. Very well. She's heard too many scary stories. <laughs> All right. Well, well, so uh, I will be setting up the campfire. You set up the campfire. Roll me survival. Oof, you guys again. I don't think I'm gonna do this right. We believe in you, man. I can help him. Oof. Okay, you you help him. So go ahead, roll with advantage, Marlock. Roll me a second time. You have help from Malakai. Hey. Yeah, that's better. Uh, like you actually rolled three times. Um, what was the first roll? Yeah, but the first oh, yeah. roll was the good one, so that's fine. Um, okay. Okay, with that twenty-two, yes, you with with some help from Malakai, you both gather around some um pretty good wood for the for the campfire as uh, so it looks like uh, the entire area you actually notice that one of the trees um, just just uh, beside your camp seems to have been cut down at some point but they haven't actually moved the log and the log is just like there on the ground so as you sort of grab your axe and you just sort of chop off the um, uh, what is it called um, the bark. Uh, or the it's, called, it's called, it's called uh, branches. Yeah, you sort of chop off the branches, right. um, you gather them around. You manage to set up a pretty good campfire. Um, yeah. Soon enough, you set it on fire, and you've got a campfire. You get some light, and you've got some warmth coming from it. Uh, is anybody cooking? Uh, yes. Dick will try and remember every time Irina cooked and how she did it. Mm. He's going to cook. Dick. He's going to be your new French cook and he's going to make the most delicious little cock of to everybody. <laughs> Survival <laughs> check from Dick, please. Ah, uh, uh, yes. Now you will see my skill. Can I help him and... Uh... Uh, oh, no, 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 <laughs> Give me go, cacklebong! Mwah! Mwah! So delicious! Mwah! Oh, what's the response? Oh, the magnifique! I'm sure something is burning. I'm sorry. Well, just <laughs> eat it quickly! Then it, it doesn't. You don't taste it, you eat it quickly. <laughs> oh, goodness. Um, oh my god, I'm sorry, I'm crying here. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, sorry. Uh, uh, all right. <clears throat> With this, mm -hmm. um, you get to the campfire and you start uh, cooking some food up. You gather around the, uh, um, you gather around from so, some of your uh, rations from the supplies. Everybody, remove round, round, one ration, please. Um, and you start cooking, and you make something. Are we sure he used our rations? 
I'm gonna say yes unless somebody did not give them ration. No, I read Maybe the rule uh, is so low. I think he used uh, iron. I, I found something in the forest, you know, mushrooms, leaves, <laughs> okay. and some that makes great sauce. Uh, I'm, 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 I'm saying now that uh, the second it's put in front of me, I'm gonna presume by the smell I know it's not gonna be good. Oh no no so no! I'm gonna actually, use... actually, I'm gonna say, um, uh huh. Yeah, because I was, I was about to describe. So you sort of gather around the rations, everybody remove one ration, and uh, you make something. It seems to include some of the dried meat that got kind of reheated, and you thought to yourself, oh yes, Irina was quite good at mixing flavors and stuff like that. So you took you took some of that wine you had and you sort of put it in there with that dried meat to sort of try to get the juice back into it. But mm. um, that was that bad wine. And as you, as you sort of mix it all together, it's like, you kind of, Dick, you feel good about yourself. It's like, yeah, th this is, this kind of looks like what Irina would have cooked. This everybody... is Kakovan. I know, I know a Kakovan. <laughs> yeah. Mm. And everybody... magnifique. And everybody else, as you sort of have that food put in front of you, imagine if Gadov Blinsky made a doll of food that Irina is eating, is, is mm. making. Uh, <laughs> this is kind of what's put in front of you. <laughs> Why is it moving? I, I will... <laughs> <laughs> I will do my best to maintain a straight face, just mm. smile beautifully to uh, Richard. This is uh, this is really really tasty. Mm. <laughs> I, I, I think, yeah. I think I found some kind of inner talent that was hidden. Ah, yes, yes, uh, you're definitely talented. Mm. Yeah. Mm. Uh, while this is happening, Valentine is just gonna look at the food. It's like, hmm. And he's just gonna wave his hand and use presentation or whatever mm -hmm. and try to make the, the taste much better. The exact oh, right, same idea I had. Right, because you can change the taste. I forgot. Yes. Yeah, I think so? me, yeah, me, both and Malachi just like both at the yeah. same time look at it, look at each other and just like. As she's yeah. talking to other people, I'm going to do it so Did no one can hear me mutter the incantation. <laughs> yep. Both of you, uh, are you trying to be sneaky about this as well, Valentine? Can I try to yeah, overhear yeah. it? Because I want to do it yeah. the same. <laughs> Both of them are whispering. I'm sorry, what, I'm sorry, what were you trying, Marlock? I didn't catch what you just said. I want to try to see what they're doing. <laughs> I'm gonna, okay, both of, you, both of you roll stealth checks and Marlock roll... Um, perception, sorry. Perception, yeah. Mm. By the way, I don't know how this has happened, but I don't have any rations at all right now. <laughs> hey. Um, so you're not sure about Malachi. Malachi is quite good at hiding what he's doing. But Valentine, you just kind of, just kind of saw him murmur above his food and just, just that little flicker of magic towards the food before he starts eating. Yeah, Valentine. Hmm. What are you doing? What am I doing? What are you doing? <laughs> <laughs> like he looks at Valentine, Lila looks back and is like, hmm, this guy, this guy noticed. He's smarter than I thought. <laughs> you know, like so. mm -hmm. who's gonna talk? I was gonna say, do you know, like the Civil War ad where it's like the donuts? Mm -hmm. Oh, I yeah, just imagine no, no, no. that with like with Malachi just eating, watching this go on. <laughs> the funny thing is, like Malachi was speaking backward to cast a spell, and Valentine was looking draconic, and he got caught. <laughs> just like, oh shit. <laughs> uh, so yeah, as he as he says that, uh, Valentine is gonna say, "It's a little ritual. Uh, a lot of Peruvian people do say it a lot, a lot of times around here. That draconic is a kind of a blessing." that you need to establish before uh, eating such a wonderful meal as he looks down. Oh, really? It. Can you repeat what you said in the comic? Because I know yeah. the comic. I, I would like to know if you do it to all the food. No, no, only my plate. And I'm not oh, getting okay. it. Because yeah. if you did it to Dick's plate, he would definitely be very brave and call himself the cook of the team for mm -hmm. the rest of 
How is that this campaign is about to go? <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm they just cried silently. You see here, I'm tempted to do that, now that you mention it. <laughs> now uh, that you mention it. But uh, before that, what, 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 did, what did Muna say exactly? Can she repeat it? Yeah, uh, Muna asked you if, if you could repeat what you just said in Draconic, because I know Draconic. I would like to know what you, your people are saying about your meals. That, that could be uh, <laughs> useful in the future. Ah, yes. Um, <laughs> just gonna repeat it. And you, like, <laughs> once he says it in Draconic, uh, like you feel it's different. Like it's not him speaking Draconic, but it's more there's incantation to it. Mm -hmm. And as he just, much like uh, the boy over there speaking backwards or infernal, he's just gonna say, uh, "Yeah, I just said," and he's gonna speak in Draconic, and he's gonna say. Bless my uh, my meal, and that's it. And that's pretty much what he did, by the way. Okay, mm -hmm. mm -hmm. do uh, that. <laughs> I'm gonna actually <laughs> just gonna do it. And as I says that, he's gonna do the incantation on behind his back, and he's gonna try to change the taste of Dick's plate. Uh, stealth check. Does something. Delicious. And I'm gonna say um, Muna and. Dick and Marlock, all three of you roll me perception. Because Woo! Woo! Okay, roll me good on perception. Ooh. No. <laughs> this is so interesting all of a sudden. <laughs> ooh, oof, oof. Oh, damn. Oh, no. Yes! Mm, this yeah. food is amazing! <laughs> None of you notice. Uh, but Dick? Yeah, it actually tastes pretty good. You did a good job. Wow. Well. I'm amazing. I will be your new cook. Now that Irina is gone, <laughs> I will take over. I will make all the food, don't you worry. Uh, yes. And Muna, I, I saw that you didn't have any rations left, so you can you can take one of mine. I have plenty. A cook has plenty of food for everybody. Always. I look at the um, full moon, I'm just like, what the fuck happened? <laughs> so, uh, Locke, are you actually uh, sharing your rations? Yes, I, I have plenty of rations. How so many? I have four left now. So, so you, you give it like two or oh. something. Did yeah. we buy uh, like a bundle not too long ago? Uh, you never picked it up. Oh. Because we, we got kicked. I don't think you did, oh, because you guys could you. you guys could kicked yeah. out of Valaki. Uh, oh, yeah. That okay. sucks. Sucks to be us. Yeah. Sucks to be us. Well, when you all do that, Tolfa is watching this commotion. He doesn't notice, like, the, you know, he's not interested in spas and all of that. Um, but he looks very miserable when he chews on his foot. And then he watches Dick's reaction, and he's, like, just kill me already. He's just kill me already. <laughs> you first yeah. must suffer a lot. Um, and with this, all of you have your meal. Um, as interesting and unique as it was, um, you finish it eventually, and um, you start gathering up and deciding who's gonna who's gonna take uh, the watches. So go ahead, guys, to decide who's gonna take the first watch. Before, because we don't know what happens in mm -hmm. in the night, mm -hmm. uh, I would like to spend some time to prayer of healing, everybody. Okay, you can easily do so. Uh, remind me, it's I, I need to quickly check how much health it can do. Prayer of healing. Uh, actually, go ahead and cast it. So that I know. Mm -hmm. um, okay, uh, six you can burned. see. Two d eight. Okay, that's fine. Go ahead and uh, roll that then. Hmm. Eleven. Uh, eleven plus three. Okay, so all of you recover. No, sorry, it's just eleven. Sorry. Yeah, all yeah, of you recover yeah. eleven hit points. I am one off from max. There you go. Oh, oh, I, took, I, took, I took twelve damage that fight. All right. And with Imagine that, taking damage. I oh. now have a oh. plus eleven to my standard health. Uh, <laughs> it doesn't. It doesn't go above your above your standard health. It, yeah. It's your maximum. Oh. 
He doesn't give hit temporary hit points. We don't gain armor. I wish. Um, yeah. While, while she was casting it, she was dancing around you guys and singing with really nice and clear voice. She does mm. so. Can and we this... get like a demonstration or something? <laughs> wow. <laughs> no, no, you can't. Can. Let's go. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> <laughs> this is suddenly an 18 plus stream. Yeah, oh my what, god, what, guys. What Dick is trying to say is is there a pro for performance check, DM? Um, <laughs> I'm gonna say, yeah, go <laughs> ahead. Roll me performance. Let's see how well you sing. <laughs> advantage, right? Uh, you do have advantage, yes. Yeah. You still do. Advantage. <laughs> oh. oh. We're you guys are charmed We're by me guys. right now. Guys, eargasm. Oh my god. <laughs> yeah, she's this I'm feeling right now. <laughs> she's a really good at singing. Then again, you guys kinda expected it of Muna. Um, now that you think of it, it's like it's like her to be good at this sort of things. She's a bit of an artistic soul in a way, and she does have a, um she does have a talent when it comes to um artistic things hmm. she has a beautiful voice a truly truly beautiful voice valentine when she's whenever she's done with her little singing he's gonna say is there anything you're not good at hmm i don't know we have to check hmm don't have keeping like her pants on. <laughs> <laughs> just says, like over to Valentine, just whispering, like keeping her pants on. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Could I wow. hurt that? Um, go ahead and roll perception. And Dick, you roll me stealth. <laughs> oh, no! Okay! Who is that? Go ahead, stealth. Come on, natural 20. No. No. <laughs> you heard that. You heard that. <laughs> Dick, if uh, gays could kill, you would be dead, like, <laughs> twice. <laughs> but, but Muna, it's true. You you make those wonderful new dances. And I'm not like <laughs> And I, I didn't criticize you. I just said that you tend to not be very good at keeping your pants on. <laughs> Don't think they are necessary. <laughs> well, I, I will take that into consideration next time I, mm. I change my, my dress up. Mm. Like, mm. mine is the pan to do it, so... <laughs> oh my god, I'm sorry. Actually, actually Muna. Yeah. There's something you're not good at. Which is? He's gonna like. Is there like a uh, a stop of a tree? Oh yeah, like definitely. A cut off. Yeah. I found I start moving away from it and just like sits next to that stub, and mm -hmm. he's gonna slam his hand or not his hand, his uh, elbow into the stub, and he's gonna say, he's gonna pretty much tap his, <laughs> he's gonna clap his hands pretty much, and just says, "I'm pretty sure you're not good at arm wrestling against me." Oh dear. <laughs> oh dear. Oh dear. I ship it. He's challenging okay, Luna specifically, by the way. I, I look over I look over to Valentine and be like, you better like check your skill right now, boy. Oh dear. Oh dear. Yeah, I, th I think I think I can take on Muno. Oh dear. He says that by the way specifically. <laughs> Alright. <laughs> Challenge accepted. Wow. So Game's face on. confused. Game's on. Next to Dick. What are they doing? They you actually um, saw that, Tolfe. Tolfe, you, you did see that before. Mm -hmm. Yes, but he's still confused. Like, he doesn't know why would anyone do that. What for? Uh, you actually, you participated in this before. <laughs> and, yeah. and what? Yes, I did. <laughs> yes. It was still very confusing. <laughs> okay. uh, no is it audible <laughs> what uh, Tolfe said? I'm sorry, what was that? Is what Tolfe said audible? He, was it, Delphi? Yeah, but he, well, he did say that 
quietly to dig, but just to give it a little bit context. In his mm. eyes, he sees, you know, mm. Valentine and Muna as kind of almost mating, you know, mating Ah, mating rituals. And he's like, what a, I, precisely, what a strange mating. Well, Damn it. That's all Peruvian what they do. If you marry a woman, you beat her in an arm wrestling match, or you just move on. No. We don't believe in rings in Barovia. We believe in arm wrestling contact contest. Here we see the wild Barovia. Oh, the wild Barovia. <laughs> <laughs> he is never yeah, but... happy yet. Attempting to impress his mate. Valentine, oh, what will be the God. prize if I win? Oh um, my God! There we go. Uh, prize. Uh, what kind yeah. of thing you're thinking about? You will get <laughs> to do one thing uh, that I uh, ask you. Ah, uh, great. May and I the win for you? What would you like? Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> it thinks for a few seconds. And no, he, he knows when people try to reverse it. He's going to go back to us. Like, well, can we put a condition on that little. Uh, oh, no, 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 she said, no. You drive a hard bargain. Hmm. That's, that's me. <laughs> so, what, what, you, you, what would you, you like to do? What is your prize, if you won? You seem like thinks for a few seconds, and oddly, you notice, like, you see the cogs coming to his head, it's like, what do I want, really? And it takes him a few seconds for a full minute of him just thinking to himself. And he looks toward you and just, I don't think I need anything. Oh, come on. You have to want something or need something. Don't be that guy. No, seriously. <laughs> <laughs> he's just gonna say one thing. It's just like he's looking at you seriously. By the way, which is something you never know about Valentine. He just looks at you. He's like, no, seriously, I don't. The only thing I want is for Obi to be free and not to be killed. I never thought of anything else. Well, I can't uh, give that to you. So you have to think of little <laughs> thing. That would be would make you a bit happier for that moment. Happy. Think about it. He's gonna look to Dick and he's like, nah. He looks at uh, Marlox like, nah. Looks at Tallface like, nah. And he looks uh, lastly to Malachi. He's like, yeah, Malachi. Yeah. <laughs> what do you think? <laughs> what do you think a, a a prize would be something I should be asking in this situation? Something that will make you happy. You just see Dick over uh, Val's shoulder, but in your sight, going like... Here's the thing. I have a character I was thinking of that already. But I'm like, what uh -huh, if I yeah. know, would, would know enough about them? Yeah, so what? You know what? They've been, they've been like doing this flirty shift all day in front of them. Yeah, he will. Um, Malco will walk up. Well, um, this kind of fits his character as well. Jesus, I had the voice and all. Uh, well, now that I think of it, um, a prize that I think will be um, very satisfactory for you is a lovely kiss from Moon herself. Hmm. Is it Moon? Moon smiles in answer. Smiles in Muna. 
<laughs> Is that what you want? What do you think? I'm just saying, this is a win-win for Muna. <laughs> I know, that's the fun part. And that's like what he's noticing. He's like, he really doesn't know what he wants other than the simple fact. Just, hmm. He just looks at Malachi. Malachi, can you roll me a persuasion check if you don't mind? Persuasion? Sure. Yeah. I think I'm good at... Oh, I accidentally oh, closed my card. Uh, that's why I can find it. I think you're uh, persuasion? I, I'm I'm willing to use my inspiration on this if I roll that as well. Oh, <laughs> I will skip you mine. Twenty-two. Twenty-two. Yeah, twenty-two is more than enough. He's just gonna say, "Yeah, sure, if you think that, I guess." <laughs> All right then. Let's he begin. Like confusion to him. He's like, "Hmm, hmm, not sure," but he just extends his hand. And he's now regretting a little bit because he had a look of regret. It's like maybe I shouldn't have right. done this. I'm gonna bend down and just whisper into his ear. Um, she's I lost the voice already. It's a Northern Ireland accent. Like I, I can't lose it that quickly. Um, mm -hmm. down to um, to uh, Valentine's ear. I'm pretty sure you'll enjoy the win if if you win. Anyways, pat him on the back and walk back over to the rest of the party. I take my position and I, what should I would we roll? like to to give uh, Malachi a high five, a French one. Uh, he comes back. <laughs> that means no. I, I first give him a high five and then go straight to the bottom and I smack him afterwards. That's a French high five. <laughs> That's French, French, French oh thing God. to do. Okay. Interesting. Uh -huh. This happens. Mm. <laughs> um, is Valentine. <laughs> like... Valentine and... Oh my God, I'm sorry. Uh, Valentine and uh, Muna... Please, both yes. of you, roll me, roll me uh, strength checks, please. And while they're doing this, because I promised. Mm -hmm. um, <clears throat> here we see the uh, wild Barovian <laughs> attempt to uh, impress its mate. Oh no! Succeeding by qu succeeding quite a degree. <laughs> the um, the the mate itself, being non Barovian, does not fully understand these customs as of yet. <laughs> 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 that, is, that is my best attempt at the David Opera voice. I can get the I'm cadence. I'm crying. It's so beautiful. <laughs> yeah. Are we are we go, do, doing like the one roll one, and it's just win or? Uh, uh, no, no, lose? no. We're 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 doing um three best wins. Best out of three. Yeah. Best, okay. best out of three. Yeah. Best two out of three. Oh, yeah. Right. Best, yeah. Blah, that's that's the one. So yeah. Uh, <laughs> first thing, you kind of grab each other's. Uh, uh, hands and start pushing and at the moment there's just this little bit of going to one side going to the other it's like uh difficult <laughs> but so in the sorry. end in the yeah. end like by the way to everyone else you see the focus on their faces and you see their muscles tiny as they are uh, <laughs> sort of stretching and trying to like, they look they look like they're putting all what they have into this um and you see that it just goes a little bit down on muna's side okay roll me again um just for a little bit of fun just quietly over with the rest of the party i'm sort of like mumble singing you know like the muses oh, no. part from uh, oh i want you know, to use my inspiration can I? <laughs> yes, yes, go ahead. Oh no. I'm sorry, what were you saying? Uh, what were you saying? I didn't get Oh, no. oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, oh. he's rolling so shit. You guys are so shit at oh. this. So yeah. what, what were you saying, Killian? Uh, do you know the muses part in Hercules for Won't oh, yeah. Say I'm in Love? Oh yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah Malachi is just like sort of Quietly singing that to the rest of the party, just sort of <laughs> laughing at them as this goes on. Valentine, please roll me. Oh. Another seven. Oh. Why are you getting so another seven? Oh. Uh, I'm gonna say for the I'm gonna say for the story purposes to make this fun. Um, I'll make you guys roll me one more time. <laughs> right. Just for the just oh. for the story purposes, just to make this just to make this uh, fun. Funny. Come on, Muna. You can oh, run oh. over the Nashville's way. Oh, 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 o
<laughs> Alright, so with this... Psych! Um, Valentine, you push down, and you almost have her. Like, there's literally... Like, her hand is all the way down to the, uh, to the tree stump. But she's holding literally just like one inch above. And she's still holding just like one inch above. Um, but Muna barely, barely. It's like, oh, your arm's hurting. Uh, go ahead, roll me again. <laughs> again, let's go. I have one more uh, Dave and Otterbear comment to make once this is up, depending on who wins. <laughs> Right. Oh. <laughs> and with the very like the, the very last of the strength you still have Valentine the most power that you have in you holding on to the power of your patron you push down and you have mm -hmm. a hand on the stump you win go ahead Killian oh. um. <clears throat> Here we see the uh, Barovian male after completing the uh, ri made the um not made it, no mating ritual yeah mating ritual will now attempt to uh, receive his prize for such. <laughs> <laughs> that happens. Mm, All right, as <laughs> he, it. As he, be so sure. he has to cheat. He cannot. He cannot win against Muna. That's impossible. Yeah, impossible. Possibly. Yeah. Like, impossible. <laughs> By the way, Dick, as yeah. this is uh, Dick, as this is happening, like you could have both of them with both her hands on that tree stump, trying to grab both of your hands and pull them down, and you would still win. I don't think so. Is that a challenge? You, you yeah. know it, so. Dick. You know it, Dick. Did it. Did it. Oh, yeah. Continue, please. Continue, please. Uh, just a few seconds. Be right back. Mm -hmm. uh, can we take a little break because I need to do something here? Yeah. Okay. So with that, um, with that win for Valentine, we're gonna take a ten minutes break. So uh, thank you so much, and thank you everyone watching us. Uh, we're gonna come back in ten minutes. Yay! It was a very disappointing dick. I know. I, <laughs> wow! Very I disappointing dick. Though, that so is that's harsh. Like... That's harsh, buddy. <laughs> that's what she said. Actually, oh. I want to go against Tofe. Tofe, you and me are gonna arm us. <laughs> oh no, oh no, we're doing this now, are we? Okay. Oh yes, we are. Yes, it's we are. Every <laughs> Saturday. Oh, oh, it's gonna be so confused. It's like, what do you mean? Me and you are like... All right, I'm gonna I'm gonna go and grab some food while you guys uh, while you guys have a break. Uh, mm -hmm. Thank you everyone for watching the stream. Uh, we're gonna be back in ten minutes again. Grab your drinks and hopefully we're uh, hopefully you're still gonna be here when we come back. Uh, thank you and right. bye. We'll be we'll be right back as well. Well, I'm gonna go get food. I'm gonna uh, switch over and see what's going on the Twitch and the things. Mm. And I will quickly grab something to drink as well. Be right back. Actually, I need to. I had my dinner in here earlier and I had myself and Bush talking. I need to put that down. But I'll check Twitch first. Ah, okay. <laughs> no. Uh. Go on. Tell me. I'm not on. <laughs> um. It it is. Uh, we have a comment from I'm not even Oh, I'm gonna butcher names. I'm sorry. Uh Cano Canatize Canatize, I believe. Titan checking in. Um the Chin individual. That's what you get from that's what you get from trusting a bird, some wise wisdom right there. And then finally, um from the DM himself, I swear this fucking party. <laughs> I mean he did swear. It's right there. But, um, yeah. I mean, she is absolutely right. Don't trust the bird. Never, Never. trust the bird. Never. <laughs> Not trusting well, birds, I think, is a running theme. Yeah, well, I'm, I'm pretty much a bird person myself. Like, okay, I, I pick pussy over birds any day, but that means cats, by the way. <laughs> but if I didn't have a cat, I'm pretty sure I would have a bird instead. Um. Yeah, but no, like, the don't trust birds thing, like, in, in, well, in one of them we don't have a bird, we've not seen birds yet, but in the other game I'm in with, um, with, uh, Ishii, um, the two of our characters bonded over the fact that we don't like birds. Oh, yes. Because, because the first creature I fought against was a bird, was a fire bird trying to kill me. <laughs> 
I mean, that that really sets the mood, I would say. Birds, no. I am back. I'm so sorry. Oh. Fine. We we are talking about how much we hate birds. Oh, good for you guys. Uh, Even right on the other campaigns. I just want to throw my downstairs. Yes, you do. You. So, how's the weather? Still sandy. Always oh, sandy. I mean, I I was thinking that here in the autumn or getting closer to winter, you wouldn't have as many sandstorms in Saudi Arabia. No, not sandstorms, no. It's just um, hot. Ain't getting cold anytime soon. Yeah. Oh, it only gets cold like midwinter, and our cold is like, you know, nothing compared to you guys. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's like 20 degrees, 15. A whopping 15. If we're if we are lucky, it could be 10, and we could freeze to death. Wow! Again, we had minus 23 degrees 10 years ago, but still. <laughs> uh, yeah, like the winter that we had in 2019, 2020, um, mm. we had no snow whatsoever. We barely kissed minus degrees last winter, which was a first. In, like, forever. We'd never tried that. They couldn't find anything about that in the records. So, mm. that was kind of terrifying, I remember. Like, the, the wow. weather reporter was just like, yeah, we had two days of frost this winter. <laughs> if global warming doesn't exist, I don't know. what. The, then the Mars doesn't exist. He was, like, really baffled. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, I am back. Hello. How are you? Also, need How's to the weather? <laughs> We're basically talking uh, about the weather. It, it, it's, it's Ireland, so uh, rain. Oh, amazing. We had a lot Pretty of sure storm today. this weekend as well, so there's going to be <gasps> more rain. Look at you. I like a good storm. Unless it's on the day that I walk Deimos, because... He gets very aggressive if he cannot get out to walk. And I walked him today, but there was so much wind that he regretted it within five seconds. And still, I just dragged him around the block. So, have you pushed your... You pushed my pen under the fridge? You fucking dick! Actually... Ah. Actually, I should oh. check my email. I have college emails that I need to look into. Uh... Uh, for ten attention for all students. Oh, uh, why not group A? Why don't you group B, C, and D? Sorry, I got. Why did I get? Why did you send me the same email? Oh, oh sorry. Oh, never mind. Sorry, I'm going through college emails, and some of them are pretty confusing. Welcome back, yeah. gracious lord. Hello, I'm not your gracious lord, stop that! <laughs> you always be in my heart. And in my soul. I am apologizing for everything I've done to you, my friend. No, no! <laughs> All of the decisions I made, you followed. I am so sorry. No, never do. be sorry. Just go all in or all out. Huh. Like, the dick and in, up. And out, and in, and out. And out. <laughs> Chris, are you there? Uh, he is not back yet. Okay. No, uh, I'm around. You are What's proper up? Adults. Uh, oh. I, I Sonic, uh, Sonic told me that he was trying to find uh, find our stream by tags, like you know, tabletop or something, and he couldn't. Oh, I didn't. I don't think I set up any tags on this. Uh, no, <laughs> there's no the tags on it. <laughs> No, I didn't put any tags on. Uh, just uh, if she if she wants to watch, I can just send send him the link. Well, yeah, you can. <laughs> I will. Uh, you will just. Yeah, I've, I've put the link earlier on. Hang on. Uh, I, I'm pretty sure he will be just for a second or something. Uh, I can grab the link real quick from. Um, no, I get it. I get it. Right I just, there. I just, I, just okay. it, I just sent it across. There you go. Okay. 
because I don't oh, think anyone's wow. messaged you in the tabletop his, server. Uh, Discord? Say again, sorry? You don't have his Discord? Uh, I'm not sure if I do actually. Uh, we've sure? been we've been we've been on one chat together, but I don't think I have I ever had him added to my friends. Okay, I already sent sent to him. Yeah, cheers then. Uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna go back to to having my drink and uh, be back with you in a few minutes. Aye, aye. No problem. I am having so much fun, and at the same time, I'm sitting doing homework. Oh, I'm uh, doing some portfolio stuff, and I've sit an all day drawing armor and it's absolutely the best thing to do because there's so many small nooks and crannies and details on an armor that you need to do especially those from the um, 15th century so how's it, how's it looking so far yeah it's pretty good I'm close to being finished although i still need to do the chain mail i have i've never drawn chain mail before so i really need to look up some references for that i have no idea what how to do that how do you, oh, how the fuck do you draw chain mail <laughs> like, like Chris Kringles. yeah i was gonna say like it's chain mail is a bunch of linked together so just yeah it'd, it'd be like a normal I'm giving. I'm saying this, and I don't do art. So take this with a massive, uh, a massive truckload of salt. A massive truckload of salt. Yeah, I don't. I'm. I'm shit at art. So, but I presume it'd be something like a normal, for lack of a better term, shirt or padding shirt that they would normally wear under armor. But instead of it being bulky, it'd be slightly lighter, and it would have, like, it's more dotted, like. I I actually need to look at chainmail now. Sorry. Think about a pie, and then put that on a shirt. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I. That totally makes sense. Oh, a pie shirt. Okay. Um. No, I I know how what chainmail looks like. Like I've done LARP uh, a lot. Uh, like live role playing games, real life running around with latex sword in a wood. Uh, uh, in the woods, the woods, uh, not in a wood. That would be weird. Um, but no, in, in the woods. <laughs> but but I have no clue how to draw it. I've never drawn chainmail. I've always avoided it by uh, doing all kinds of other stuff. But this kind of needs chainmail. It's, it's the proper way to do a, a 15th century army armor. So, kind of need it. But do you really need it? <laughs> um, by the way, Viking. I mean... Hi. Hi. Uh, <laughs> right. I was gonna. I need to explain something to you. You might notice uh, the players are trying uh, or becoming wingmen to Muna. Yeah. Uh, there is a slight reason for that, other than the fact that they want them to get together. There is a challenge that had been established at the beginning of this campaign. Yeah. That uh, it was a challenge between the DM and me, or the other players. I told the DM that my character will definitely die a virgin. <laughs> oh. Uh, and, the, and the DM was like, oh, you want to bet? And he challenged all of the players. <laughs> if they managed to break his virginity, they gain a, a, a gift or a prize. If I keep my virginity, I... So, so far we're doing good. So this prize will be not for this uh, character, but for another, if Valentine dies. Precisely. Okay. That's, yeah. Okay. <laughs> yeah, I was, I was, she's not going to, hopefully. I was going to say, I could, uh, depending on how horrible of a people we could do, we, we are, it, a suggestion spell exists and it lasts eight hours. Well, let's not be rapists. And let's try no, that's what I said, like, depending on how horrible human beings we are. <laughs> well... <laughs> Now you know why Mona wanted one thing Valentine to do. Oh, <laughs> it, oh it, boy! It doesn't oh have to be boy. go sleep. It, it, it's gonna, it doesn't have to be go sleep with someone. It can be something as go go act on your feelings towards Mona. <laughs> Let that play out how it will. And suddenly he kills Mona. <laughs> yep. Yeah, oh. I know. <laughs> All right, with this, um, is everybody back? Yeah.
I believe yeah. so. Actually, let me go do something real quick. I just need to put my plate away. Yeah, go ahead. Go ahead. Mm. Let's wait a moment for Marlock to come back and uh, we're gonna continue. We're gonna see what's going to happen. I get some background noise coming from someone. It wasn't it? for me. Is it from um, me of the window open? Uh, Is it right. me? I'm not sure yet. Could be the stream. Oh, right, I do have Twitch open. Maybe it's that. Yeah, I have the thing muted because I could hear a stumbling over from it. Ah, yeah, it was probably it was probably me having having uh, Twitch open. That's probably what it was. Oh, okay. I have it just like on a tab in the background and I'm popping in to check the chat every so often. <laughs> Are you back, right. Locke? I just heard your yes. voice. Awesome. I am here. Awesome. Uh, Locke? Yes. B? I am Present. Okay, looks like we got everyone present because I heard the other voices uh, soon enough. And with this, uh, let us continue the session. Um, mm. So yes, it looks like um, Muna has been defeated um, and is now drowning in her shame. As it looks like Valentine has defeated her like a little child that she is. Um, mm. Valentine. Here's a question. Yes. When uh, Valentine defeated her, he looks at her face. Uh, Muna, is she happy? Is she sad? What what expression does she have? She is grinning like an idiot. <laughs> All right. So as like, he slams his hand, he's like sweating and just like looks to her eyes of almost like I just fucking defeated you. And as he looks at her, she still notices the grin and he's like, "Not gonna think about it." Yeah. <laughs> I have a suspicious feeling that you. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> he thinks to himself for a few seconds. <laughs> ah. Hmm. <laughs> he just like thinks to like it takes him a while to understand like ah fuck. Seems that you were gonna win either way. <laughs> <laughs> and he slowly lets go of your hand, and just goes. For any consolation, I am pretty glad that I won. Oh, Ooh. why so? It feels good beating people in a game of strength. <laughs> well, I have to admit, I don't have a lot of strength. It's not my mm. best ability, I must say. I cannot say the same, unfortunately. But I understand you're troubled. Physics, as he just puts his hand on her shoulder. <laughs> it seems like, by the way, like he's, it seems like he's difficult. Like uh, it takes him a while to, do, to catch his breath after that intense <laughs> arm wrestling match. <clears throat> and he just uh, takes his hand away and just, uh, all right, that was a good match. And he stands up and starts to <laughs> leave. <laughs> so so you don't, you don't want your prize? <laughs> ah, actually. Uh, Malachi, you can have it. And he's just going to try to bash <laughs> next to Malachi and pretty much oh. tap wow. him on the shoulder. Wow. Valentine, you dick. That was such a dick move. Um, Mon Mona looks, oh, looks towards Valentine and, and Malachi and she's like, no. Um, that was not the deal. Um, uh, question, is it strength check to uh, gr grapple him? Uh, it's, it's athletics versus uh, athletics or acrobatics. Uh, let, okay. let me handle well, the grab. You want me to do this? Oh, <laughs> oh, you want both of us to do You want all three of us to do this right now? Oh, no. The oh, boys are God. back in town. Oh, the boys God. are back in town. Are we doing the Muriel <laughs> thing again? <laughs> Let's all roll. Let's all roll. <laughs> so all all of us are just grappling uh, grappling him at once, yeah? <laughs> I'll take his legs. You guys take his uh, both of his hands, because because as you try like pass it off on me, as you try pass it off on me, I'll go. Oh, God, I need to get the voice. I hate. Uh, I I really hate getting into an Iron Iron accent because it takes me a second. Um, mm -hmm. nah, buddy, this one's yours, and I'll grapple him. I'll grab him by the shoulders and try to turn him 
while the other, <laughs> well, I presume the others are coming in as well to grapple them and stop it. Oh god. Okay, so it's going it's to be three, like... three athletic checks from the grappling people, and Valentine, you oh, get yeah. to choose athletics or acrobatics also three times, please. Can we have advantage on Whoa. those athletic checks, by the way? Uh, I got natural 20. <laughs> I'm gonna say, I'm gonna say no this time. Uh, DM, I would like not to roll. Just because I cannot beat any of those, except for Marlock. Yeah. <laughs> I want to win against Marlock, at least. Ah, nope. <laughs> <laughs> no, Valentine. You've been... You are free weight at the moment. I would just like to say that while Tolfey decided not to grapple him or anything like that, and he doesn't seem to be amused by all of that, Mm -hmm. um, he decides to hit Valentine emotionally, and when boys have him in the firm embrace, he approaches him, looks at his face, completely emotionless, and he's like, you're an idiot. And then he goes past wow. him. Wow. <laughs> yeah. I, mean, I mean, yeah, but still, wow. <laughs> yeah. yeah, that hurt me. <laughs> oh. Um... Uh, Lady Mona. Oh, Jesus. What was that voice? Oh. <laughs> Nart Ireland. My, my word to get into the accent is actually just saying Nart in Ireland. Um, Lady Mona, I uh, believe your prize is here. I, am I, mean, I not the winner here? Right? She looks at the guys. <laughs> <laughs> well, apparently you just lose your battle of strength. With these guys. <laughs> yeah, um, is this really necessary as I look at all of the three buff and one skinny <laughs> guy, like, all fucking holding me? <laughs> one, two, three, everyone together? Yes! Actually, actually, <laughs> actually that, skinny, yeah. that skinny guy is not all that skinny. Like, he's, he's, he's skinny he's in like, my eye. He's not buffed, yeah, yeah. he's not buffed, but he's stronger than you, definitely. Everyone is stronger than me, and a commoner is stronger than me. Yeah, go ahead, sorry. Um, ah, so is it, she's getting hold by all of them, but she's looking just like... Just, what is the problem here? <laughs> she looks at everyone trying not to <laughs> de-escalate the situation. <laughs> We're trying to be diplomatic. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to look towards... Uh, by the time it's like you gotta stop running away from your problems and all your fit. <laughs> Val, buddy, if we have to explain it to you, you really won't get it. That's true. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> I want, I want a uh, freaking uh, a dick to come in. It's the keys. It's the keys. It's the problem. See. Ah. He looks at all of them, like still like he's not registering the fact all of them are holding him right now. <laughs> <laughs> He's like trying to wrap his mind around that, and he he looks back to Muna, and he's going to say, "I think there's only one way out of this, I guess." <laughs> she approaches him <laughs> and gives him a like the lightest smooch on the cheek. She does so. Oh, that's Muna. good enough. That's good enough. Muna, 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 yes. Muna, Muna, Muna. I would like you to roll me charisma with with advantage. Uh, straight charisma, right? I, I just want to point out just how funny. Twenty-three. It was very pleasant, by the time. It's always pleasant. Are you kidding? Mm. Mm. He knows that. Mm. Um, as the kiss is given, he just nods his head and then slowly says, Would everyone be so kind to let go of me now? Man. Yeah. I am very dissatisfied with both of you. Me too. <laughs> <laughs> no, me too. I won't do anything like you don't me. want to, so. She just roll her eyes like really visibly, mm -hmm. and walks away. Uh, who's next to me? Is it the boys? Um, it be, yeah, well, uh, it, you, it, so. be, it definitely would be the gang. Yeah. Uh, I was uh, grabbing you by like your like the top of your arms and turned you, so I'm like 
beside you slash behind you, sort of. I look toward uh, Marlock because he's he gave me some wisdom. He's like, did I make a big mistake right here? You made a lot of mistakes. No, no, I know yes. that. But yes, you did. Oh, great. Very big one. <laughs> very, very big one. Gain very big. wisdom from Marlock. Valentine, <laughs> that's a new <laughs> low for you. <laughs> <laughs> I would take that as kind of a compliment, but not really. (laughs) (laughs) Uh, No offense. As as that is said, I'm just looking to my like, I was like, why is it so difficult to communicate with people? Buddy, I've been here for... Oh, no, I lost my voice there. I've been here for, well, two days now. If you're... I'm, I'm seeing something and you're missing it. You might want to uh, think about that a little bit seriously. I've been a sheriff for over eight years. How am I missing my touch in less than two months? Things uh, tend to be harder to see the closer they are. I used to be a people's person. I hate Faerun as he just says that. <laughs> <laughs> And he's going to look to Mark like he's going to say, should I apologize for this one? Yes. He's whispering, by the way, not making it loud. Only the boys can hear it. Oh, okay, it does. Yes. I believe you walking away in that situation, running it off, was, well, like Toth, they say, very stupid. Never walk away from a woman who wants to give you a kiss. It's very important. You have to show some feelings, some some passion. You, just, you have to. Think, think. With all due respect, I do not want to get any any advices from you tonight. The full moon definitely been playing with your head. You need to get some sleep. And he's just going to start moving away from the boys. <laughs> if that had been Irina, you know exactly how I would have done it. I would have... Run her to the ground, and I don't know that not that that violence. No, uh, you know the one where you you swing her in your arms and you take her half down to the ground like that. Yeah, that yeah. He's just gonna start moving away. <laughs> nope. <he's not laughs> the best one. I'm gonna yeah. put my hand on uh, Dick's shoulder and be like, "It's all right, buddy. We'll do it soon enough." Ah, oh, where's Muna? Where the fuck is Muna, DM? Ah, uh, where is she? Walked away. She walks away a bit. Where does she, does she walk away out of sight or? Uh, no, no, she's inside, but she she didn't uh, heard what they were saying. Okay, so she's like what twenty thirty feet away, yeah. He is going to move toward her, put a hand uh, pretty much on her, the opposite shoulder, and put another one on her other shoulder, and he's just slowly going to push her a little bit further away from the group. And it's like oh, yeah. I'm gonna have a- a little talk, and he's just gonna push her all the way a little bit gently, of course. Which... Dick is gonna push all the others like behind some bushes, but a place where they can lurk a little bit. It's like, come, come, oh. come, away, away. Now, now, watch. Is everybody, oh, going, second, is everybody going, going along with it? <laughs> yes, and no. I'm, I'm gonna watch, but I'm also casting invisibility. So. <laughs> Oh my god! Bob's oh my god. gonna go inside the trees and then fucking when he's climbing, climbing up and then jump towards the tree to get closer. <laughs> oh my god! Oh my god! I want Tolfe. to say that uh, well, Tolfe looks at all of you with disdain and he's like, "Oh, you are also idiots." But then when you are not watching, he turns himself into a spiral and he goes directly <laughs> on the tree above our sweet couple. <gasps> oh my god. god. That, me, uh... that, is, that is that is so tall, Faye. Um So they're just so so it's so it's tracked. Um uh Bree, this is uh Foundry. Foundry virtual tabletop. Sorry, just answering to a chat. Um oh, yeah, I'll I can switch and text in chat. Okay, well yeah. you're describing stuff. Yeah, thank you so thank you so much. I'll I'll appreciate that. Um okay, so with this <laughs> Uh, go ahead and all of you, uh, roll me stealth checks. 
and it's going to be because bec I'm gonna say that because the two, those two were sort of focused on the conversation. Um, I'm gonna say it's gonna be against passive perception unless one of you was specifically looking out. No, not me. <laughs> yes. Valentine. Uh, no, he's too. He's concentrating on what to say next. Tolfe, really? <laughs> Tofei, so uh, so are you a spider? <laughs> Tofei is a squirrel. Oh, a squirrel. Nice. Uh, I, I need to roll stealth, yeah? Yes, please have advantage. This is so bad. I feel it's like we, really bad. we really need a battle. Oh, now. why is everybody <laughs> rolling so bad? Oh, like, oh, one one or two. We really are hiding so well. Valent this is a 2 20 Malachi. Dick, Dick. Dick has found a, a kind of green bush, and then he's like, I'm green, I can hide in this, and then he just has his whole head out. <laughs> tick, 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 tick. You're wearing a yeah. heavy armor, you roll with disadvantage. <laughs> it's, it's clear, 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 roll clear, me. clear. Come on, roll me a second time, maybe he's gonna, come on, roll me, roll me another one, maybe it's gonna be an actual one, come on. Cling, cling, cling. Please. Try just gonna Please. jump in and just like what the Please. these people oh, are doing yeah. down here? Oh, ignore that one. Ignore oh, yeah. it. I just I ignore can't it. I can't believe those rolls. I um, want to use inspiration, but but like no. some god said no. So I'm... I know. So, someone no. just is like you know what? This is a private wow. thing. <laughs> just wow! I'm just looking at those rolls and oh my god, oh my god! I can't yeah, believe that's those right. rolls. Can we succeed anyway? <laughs> no. Okay, let me just let me just paint your picture. Valentine, Muna. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Both of you sort of step aside from the party. Um, you want to have a lot of a, a lot of a one-on-one -on -one conversation. Uh and suddenly you all notice bushes around you move. You get a glance there and you just see like Dick's head out of the bush. He clearly thinks he, you don't see him. You see a squirrel just above your head. You just kind of look up and you just see a squirrel just above your head that seems very interested in you. <laughs> you Do I see... recognize the squirrel? Um, well, you haven't seen that squirrel before, but... I was going to say something. Is there even squirrels in Perovia? Uh, yeah, there are. There are squirrels okay. in Perovia. Okay, go ahead. But it's, like, but it's like, yeah, that squirrel looks way too smart and way too interested. Mm -hmm. You see, um, you see uh, Marlock just kind of, kind of trying to hide behind the tree, but the thing is, <clears> like he didn't, like he didn't set himself up like on the side to actually hide behind the tree. No, he actually stands like right in front of the tree, and you just see like both his arms on on both sides of the tree hiding there, and just like his head popping out on the other end. Mm -hmm. And then it's like, oh, you don't see Malachi. Oh, is 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 he doing a good job? But then you just you just hear that poof, 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 behind you, as, as a bunch of as a bunch of um, um, branches of the tree just fall down, and then just sort of stop midair as he as they seem to have tangled up on his clothing. Okay. I mean, um, uh, if he wants, his, yeah. If he wants his privacy, I think you failed miserably. Yeah, as she says that, like, Valentine looks at you with a blank face and just says, Do you want to tell them or do I? <laughs> tell what? <sighs> Gentlemen! <laughs> would it be, uh... Would it be a hard request to have a moment of privacy in the land of that is Barovia? would be quite appreciated. Oh, that was oh. really nice. I would put this in uh, more rough uh, words, but yeah, guys, please. Also, the camp ain't gonna build him uh, itself. Let's get chop chop everyone out of here. I'm, I'm caught in a tree, yeah? Uh, you're not caught in the tree, you just sort of were moving by the tree and you kind of stumbled, stumbled on it and like you moved it okay. and a bunch of branches just fell down on you. Like they're not heavy, they just tangled up on your clothing. Mm. Uh, okay. okay. Yeah, you can remove them. You have to work uh, with your invisibility, you know? We can see you. Mm. Telling us wasn't a smart thing. 
just after a moment of thought, you'll hear trees rustle as he walks away and the smell of cigarette smoke fill the air. No, actually, no, because the cigarette wouldn't be visible. You'll just see, like, a floating cigarette and a light as he walks away. There you go. <sighs> what about the rest of the guys? Uh, you'll see Marlock just come out the tree. Hi. And then fucking leave. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, what about the other two? The last two? It kind of gets up very sad. Like, no, no, more with a disappointed facial expression. Mm -hmm. Being like, mm. yeah, I, I guess you can get some privacy. Mm. But if you take too long, we come back. You get the 30 seconds. It won't be long, I promise. He won't. He won't. He won't hold up to it that long. <clears throat> yeah. I have high constitution, mate. You wouldn't know. High constitution. The only thing I'm good at. Mm -hmm. Dick backs away, but he he keeps his front at them as he kind of just goes in between the trees in the direction of the others. And the squirrel. Um, <laughs> that's me. Well, you hear kind of offended uh, squeaky noises. And then um, squirrel goes a little bit up on the tree. I and will he's... talk uh, with you, Tolfa, later. <laughs> we are keeping first watch. <laughs> Mm. Oh well, right now, <clears throat> well, there are squirrels, squirrels in Barovia, so you could assume that it was just the accident, <laughs> but I don't think she did. Sudden, the squirrel seems to be quite unnerved and just going higher and, you know, as far as it can. So, oh, um, what do you want us to talk? Ah, he's gonna Hello. lean against. He's gonna lean his back against the wall, uh, a tree, and he's just gonna say, "Is this gonna be a thing?" And he points to you and points to himself back and forth. Why not? Hmm. What What'd thing? What do you mean? Thing between us, this. Is it gonna be a thing? Me always apologizing to you? I didn't say oh. you have to apologize. No, but you kind of deserve one. Every single time. Kind of makes me think. Is everything I do is just a mistake? And he just leans against the tree and thinks to himself. Think, uh, why do you think so? Everything I say is bad. You know, every decision I make ends quite badly. And as evident of an hour ago... Hmm. Well, that whole situation spoke for itself. Valentine, we all agreed to this plan. So this is on us, not only for on you. You know that, right? We have our own intelligence. And we agreed on that. It wasn't, uh, well, on paper, it wasn't a bad plan. We just didn't know what we are dealing with. I see. I don't know. It's got me thinking. Just, you know, what we talked about before. Yeah. Saying it out loud really make it, makes a difference. It is, but I'm here to help you. Remember that, please. And um, while you're walking away from this prize, and she's like pointed at her face with, re uh, with a smirk on her face, that was a mistake, but... I can forgive you. 
No need mm. to apologize. Mm. But you gotta admit, you were in a win-win situation. You asked, you asked for it? You can't blame me. I just wanted to play a sport of arm wrestling. <laughs> yeah, you are. I almost win, you know that. I'm not sure. These muscles are proving themselves to be quite growing as he looks at his hand and just stretches. <laughs> Nothing occurs. <laughs> I must say, uh, my muscles definitely grow uh, from the point I was here. So, Varovia does thing to a people. You but know, I believe... <laughs> yes? You say that as a compliment. But you only spent a month here. <laughs> he just looks at you annoyingly. He's like, what do you mean? I spent here my whole life. It never grew. Just looking at himself. Is there a problem? Well, mm -hmm. maybe. I don't know. But I believe we have to get back to the guys before Richard will uh, go and check on us. Yeah, Dick is already, time. like... Looking from afar, you can see he's getting a little bit close again. Shadowing over his eyes. Using yeah. his hands as, like, those binoculars. Yeah, Mona uh, walks towards Valentine, just pat him on, on the shoulder two times. Are we good? Hmm. Look. I'm sorry about walking away with the prize. I'm really not good at getting gifts. Never got them throughout my life. Well, I got some few, but people who give it to me don't really stay for long. So what I said back there about not really wanting something, I mean it, really. I don't really desire anything. So We have to work on that. I, I don't think so. Not needing anything really has helped me throughout my life. Well, I'm not going anywhere, so and I'm sticking with you. Mm. So we are going to work on that. And uh, now let's go. And she moves towards uh, campsite. It gives a genuine smile as she turns her back and just <clears throat> fixes it to a smirk, and she starts moving. All right. Does Dick, does Dick see all the smirking? Um, easily so. They are not hiding it, so yes, easily so. Oh, I missed it! <laughs> missed it with you! <sighs> oh, yes, wow. Dick. You missed it. It was amazing. Incredible! What was amazing? As he stands next to Moon. <laughs> Just like, step, step really uh, fiercely on his foot. Just agree with me. Wonderful time. As always. <laughs> As, As always. Always. My texting kind of got away there, but yeah, Dick just has this giant smile on his face all of a sudden. <laughs> oh my goodness! Oh, you guys. Is oh. Dalvey back yet? And Mona is looking around. Is he? He is. Although he tries not to be very visible at the moment. Mm. Which is kind of difficult because he's back to his big fear book form. And, <laughs> and you know, he's in him. the ring of fire. But, but still, you know, he is. As I promised, first watch, you, me, and whoever wants. Um... That would so... be Valentine. No, we need oh, no, no, no. No, we need a, in both of groups people who can see in the dark. Okay, I, I guess mean, I will be I, with Valentine then. I mean, Dick can see in the dark. Valentine can see in the dark. Um, really? Yeah, you can see in the dark. So well, I people... can see in the dark, I know that. I didn't know that Dick can see in the dark. Yeah, oh, I Dick's, can. He's a, I he's can. a half orc. <gasps> oh, great. Orc jeans. Mm, yeah, he can see in the dark. So, you know, there's three of you. It's easy enough to split into two groups. 
So who's taking the first watch? Muna will point at uh, Malakai. Okay, Malakai, Muna, and Valentine. This is, sorry, not no, uh, Malakai, Muna, and Tolfi. 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 Okay. Mm -hmm. um, you take the first watch. Okay. Um, and Valentine, Marlock, and Dick, you go to sleep. The boys. <laughs> ah, the boys. So the go boys. Ahead. The boys. Oh, yeah, the boys. <laughs> Uh, okay, so, um, Muna, Malakai, and Tolfe, um, I want you to roll me perception checks. Those of you who do not see in the dark, please roll me with disadvantage. Oh, that was shitty. And Tolfe? Mm hmm Okay. <laughs> and go ahead and have your conversation. You wanted to discuss something? Well, Tolfe will certainly not start this conversation. Mm -hmm. When he when he finally got noticed, you know, while being completely visible, uh, Grumpy, he moved closer to the fire and sat next to Muna and Malakai. Uh, but he tries not to look at Muna and uh, he's just playing with the, uh, you know, dry twig in his fingers while um, absently looking around. Well, Mona, uh, like, leaned towards Tolfe and rest her head on his arm. Well, he tenses. Then he relaxes, but he's surprised. And uh, Muna, knowing him, uh, can probably figure that much. Well, Malakai, can you tell us something interesting about the land that you are from? Um, Malakai will sort of sit back and look up a bit. Yeah, well, let me see now. Um, oh, that was that wasn't Northern Ireland. That was a fairy country. Uh, Northern Ireland. Okay, um, let me see. Uh, where I come from, uh, like as you know, I came from Sithis. So there's only the three colors: red, white, black. Um, Sithicus. Sithicus. Sorry, Sithicus. Uh, oh, I. Northern Ireland. Sithic yeah, no, I can't say that in the uh, the Northern Irish accent. Sorry, um, Sithicus. Uh, and up there, uh, um, in there, there's not, it's not the prettiest of sights. Um, very uh, dreary, for lack of a better term. Um, out of character, I'm trying to think of stuff that I could say. Um, uh, uh, like Barovia, it's surrounded by the mists. As, that's how I got here, as you know. Um, and uh, the person that rules it, uh, from what I from what I know, she's not the happiest of individuals. Never really cared for, her. so take that as you will. Um, out of character, she's less active than Strad, isn't she? Oh, far less active. Yeah. Um, in saying that, we don't get. She doesn't do as much as from what you've talked about here that uh, Strad does. So. Don't really know what to say, really. Did you have a? Um, I didn't know if if we already asked. Did you have a family there that you left there? Not really. Um, grew up mostly on the streets. Uh, did have parents and didn't know them. Didn't really want to know them, and they didn't really want to know me. So, I took. Uh, left when I had to and took care of myself for a while sorry um, but you end up pretty well I see as well as one can um, not really much that go that went on there that could have been negative the one or two things but you know that's mm -hmm. Happen that happens to everybody every now and again. 
Oh, that reminds me the 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 thing with colors colors. You know that you are a brunette, right? Until this morning, I didn't really know. I don't even. I didn't even know the word. So no. So that's a word that you can describe your your hair, brunette. I will don't keep that. Muna nudged uh, Tolfei with her elbow, but lightly. I didn't hear what uh, Tofei said, sorry. Uh, he just chuckles. Oh. Um, I suppose not to be rude, he'll hold up his cigarette. Do you want one? Um, no, no, thank you. What is it? Uh, it's... No, lost the voice there. It's a cigarette. It, uh, it is a... Uh, Oh, I'm losing my own thoughts. Um, it is. Uh, oh, that wasn't. Oh, unearned. It's like a. It's like a cigar, but a uh, smaller. Um, uh, actually, Tolfe, you saw Fenven smoke pipe in the past. Uh, you know that he would normally uh smoke those um. A bit less. Like th this cigarette, the smoke of it has got a bit stronger smell than whatever it is that Fenvin was smoking. His had just a bit of sweeter smell to it, um, but okay. it seems to be a similar sort of thing. You think maybe? Tolfei takes one cigarette from. Uh, from Malakai, and he just smells it, you know, and watches it. You know how cigarettes smell. Uh, yes, I do. <laughs> <laughs> do you want of all me of to... us, yeah, you do. <laughs> you want me to light it for you? I guess. Um... I'll get I out heard it's not healthy, you know. Tolfe is breaking bad. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, as like like Malakai, instead of like normally using presentation, he'll actually follow his lighter and do it this time. Well, given the circumstances, we nearly died today. I rather, if I'm gonna die soon, given the situation, I'd rather uh, enjoy the time that I have and with the bit I can have, and he'll light the cigarette. He does so. <laughs> Are you okay, Dolphy? <coughs> I... <coughs> I don't think I'm going to like it. <coughs> Dolphy, roll me a constitution saving throw. Constitution... There it is. Okay, so um, yeah, you take uh, you take your whiff out of the cigarette, and yeah, you instantly start coughing. It's like oh 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 oh, oh yeah, that hits you hard. That hits you hard. Come and, on, Tolfe, it can't be that bad. And after a few moments, um, you do feel a little lightheaded, um, as you you know you you smoke yourself, uh, B. So you kind of know if you like if you take your whiff too quickly, you do get that feeling of little lightheaded it's like ooh ooh <laughs> yeah Mona yeah. Reach, reach her hand towards Tolfe like to wait Tolfe to give her a cigarette back that can't be that bad <laughs> oh we got Mona into it yeah. now everybody's breaking bad I'm corrupting the party slowly but surely <laughs> <laughs> ah finally <laughs> My spy planted into the party is doing his job. Well, she was she was smoking a pipe or something in the uh, past. So. She may have, yeah, she may have easily enough. Definitely. We'll turn around in like uh, six months, uh, and it's just we'll build the character sheet and I'm lawful evil. <laughs> Did Tolfe give, uh, give her a cigarette? Yeah, he is. 
his eyes are welling, mm. uh, are welled up, and he has multiple tears in the corners, and he just, you know, he still cannot say a word, so he just gives her the cigarette. He does so. Will I receive the cigarette? Yeah, she takes it away. Uh, should I roll? Yes, please. Oh no. Oh no. No, it's it's easy. It's an easy check. <laughs> so, uh, no, you you smoked before. Um, with Fatina, um, you know that Fatina does like her opium. Uh, oh yeah. Oh yeah, she does like her opium. So you've had a taste in the past. Um, so to you, it's like it's yeah, not kicking like opium, right? Yeah, you know, it, is, it doesn't kick quite like that. Now, it's like. Mm, is it maybe for relaxation? I must say, my guy, it's not doing much. Wait for the uh, wait for it to kick in a bit. Mm, I'm pretty sure I smoked things that had better kick than this. Uh, Mark, I will uh, shrug at that. Uh, then, then I can't do much really. Um, oh, I lost my voice there. Can't do really, can't do much really about that. Then, just have what I have. Thank you. And she's just smoking it. But I have a uh, one uh, question. Do you have um, in your land? There are only. Humans or another, I must say, race? Um, that there is humans, yeah. Um, I lost the voice again. There's human, yeah. There's uh, elves dotted around. Um, is there any other races? I know humans and elves just off the top of my head. Um, so you would know, like, elves definitely dominate that land, which is unusual. Yeah. It's like, for you, it's usual, but for them, it's unusual. Uh, yeah. There's more elves there than there is humans. Um, oh, there, okay. Yeah, there's uh, like oh, humans. Humans, yeah, yeah, humans. Humans are like five percent of the population, maybe. Uh, uh, by the way, he's oh. human, right? Sorry. He's human, right? Oh no, he's human. Yeah, yeah, he's oh, yeah. human. Um, there is um, halflings, definitely. Uh, you've seen Vistani there. Um, they're well. They're, they're they're still humans, but you know they they're unusual. So that's why I'm kind of pointing them out. There's a lot of lycanthropes, and I mean a lot of lycanthropes. Um, and there are those weird, halfling-looking creatures of a darker skin color uh, that you know for a fact are quite mean. Um, and by quite mean, I mean they are the sort of halfling creatures that would if 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 you were alone and just walked through the street nobody else there uh they're not gonna ju they're not gonna mug you they're gonna stab you and then take your money they're not gonna come okay. around they're they're not gonna come around and say you i want your money no they're gonna stab you and take your money <laughs> okay um let's see uh, there's a lot of elves Elves. Um, there's a few of us humans here and there. Um, there's there's a lot of. Uh, oh, can't, can't try to say this in the accent. Uh, there's a lot of uh, lycanthropes that roam the areas, and some nasty little uh, halfling creatures. That well, let's just say uh, you wouldn't really want to be walking down a dark street by yourself with them nearby. That didn't didn't sound really pleasant. But so you never met a uh, Yuanti before? You have not no. Uh, never in my life, no. Well, now you did. She and smiled careful. wildly and and uh, 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 he can see her fangs. And obviously the scales on, on her forehead and cheekbones. Is 
there anything um, else you guys want to discuss? No, not right now, off the top of my head, unless uh, Moon or Tofei do. That's all. Tofei? Mm. No, that's all, actually. Okay. Valentine, I would like to invite you to the private room. <gasps> yeah, oh. good, good. Uh, well, they, well, well, there you go. Uh... Hello <sighs> there, Valentine. Hello, God. You fall asleep. Yeah. And as you sleep, a vision happens. Oh, give me a second. Let me open my fucking notes. <laughs> Go ahead. You find yourself in a weird, uncomfortable position. You're lying on something tough and straight, like a wooden board or something like that. Mm. And you try to move your move your hands, but you find that they're strapped into whatever you're strapped into. You open your eyes, you look around, you seem to be strapped into a table of some sorts. Around you, you see several plates along with some glasses of wine, um, cutlery, uh, you notice um, a feast of some sorts. There seem to be um, plates full of uh, meats of different kind. There seems to be some pork, some chicken, some, um, some cow here and there. Um, there's uh, some salads on the table. And then there's you on this big servo platter right beneath your back and your hands strapped into the table your legs strapped into the table there are chairs standing everywhere around this table and by this table you see several silhouettes The first face you see is to your right. It's Muna. She seems to be sitting at the table. She seems to be enjoying her meal, um, having a little sip of wine. She seems to be paying no attention to your current situation. Mm. Above you, you notice Irina. She seems to be having a lovely conversation here with Muna and laughing at something, joking with one another. Seemingly content with what's currently happening and not really bothered. Um, mm -hmm. Oh, sorry, I think... Uh, no, sorry, I just looked at Twitch, never mind. <clears throat> As you look to the left side, there seems to be an older lady there. You recognize her. It's the granny from the old bone grinder. Ah. Further on, you see the rest of your party. They all seem to be enjoying the feast and having a lot of fun together. Um, and at the very end of the table, you see Strad von Zarovich. Enjoying mm -hmm. his own meal. Looking at you all. Seemingly also having a conversation with the others. Everyone looks very comfortable. But not you. You are strapped into the table. What do you do? Well, he would be uh, calling for his friends. Who do you call for? Like, uh, well, firstly, Muna. You call to Muna. Mm. You call to you call towards Muna. Muna. Muna, I'm here. I'm trying to grab her attention. You see her just like wave her hand towards you, like stop interrupting in a way. She seems to have heard you. But doesn't seem to be bothered by you talking. She's like, shut the fuck up in a way. She's not bothered. Who'd you call to next? 
Dick. Do you call towards Dick? As you do so, you see him, like, just right in the middle of a conversation with Strahd. He turns towards you and he's like, Would you mind shutting up? I'm having a conversation here. A lord with a lord. Oh, nice. And he goes back to speaking to Strahd. Then we'll be calling, like, to everyone pretty much quickly and panicking there, of course. But is he in control here when it comes to, like, does he understand what's what's happening? Like, is it vivid like a dream? Or does it feel like a reality right now for him? At this moment, it feels like a reality. But then he, after calling to Dick and seeing both of them, calling to the others, his eyes would lie to Strahd. As you um... look towards Strahd, you see him... First he was turned towards Dick, but as you look towards him, you see him... Look back towards you, and your eyes meet. You see him pick up his fork and mix three little taps on his beautiful goblet that he has in front of him, making that ringing sound in the area. Mm. Everybody goes quiet, and they turn towards you. Their heads now looking straight at you. And Strat speaks. I think it's time for dessert. And you see them all lick their lips with this very hungry, very almost happy way. And you see the granny from the old bone grinder stand up above you. She pulls out a knife and she sticks it in your chest. You feel the blade piercing through your skin. It hurts. It hurts like hell. Mm. And she starts dragging it down, making this big cut in your chest. She puts her fingers underneath your skin and starts ripping it apart, opening your chest. You feel it. You try to scream if you do. But nobody. He... Yeah. Mm. He Go would on. actually, like, as you're looking at Strahd, he would have this hateful glare because he, he's so hatred to him, he wouldn't even notice the granny, believe it or not. Mm -hmm. He's staring at him and pretty much this. He shifts the blame on Strahd once again, as he does always, and mm -hmm. pretty much, like, has this angle look. Not even, like, he's afraid, but, like, he notices that this is him. This is an illusion made by him. This is, if there's anything, he would make something as twisted as this. And mm -hmm. pretty much, like, even when this, pretty much it hits him, the, the blade to the chest, like, as the blood pretty much comes out of him, he still has that glare and pretty much mumbling to himself, I just every time. And be much looking at Strahd and almost helpless, of course, as always. Like every time I encounter him. Uh, but this time is not more of fear, it's more of really hatred. It's just gathering in him. So it does let us scream, but his focus is on Strahd until well, he passes out or dies. You don't pass out, unfortunately. You'd wish you did, but you do not. Mm -hmm. As your ribs get broken and set aside. And you see Granny take out this long um, two-bladed fork. Like you use for carving meat. And then a carving blade. And she starts carving into your heart. You should die from this, but you do not. You feel every second of it. Mm. And she starts carving nice long slices of your meat from your heart. And starts putting it on everybody's plates. And as she does, they all start eating. They all start eating with such vigor, such 
pleasure to it. They almost they almost fight over the slices of your heart. And then the biggest slice. Almost it's almost like half your heart is put in front of Strahd. You see him pick up his fork, his knife, start cutting through it. Like you don't have heart in your chest anymore, but you're still alive. And he starts cutting through the heart. He lifts out his fork with the heart with the part of heart on it. And he says towards you. This is what happens to traitors. And he slides it in his mouth, slowly mm. sliding it with his with his teeth down and eating. And you lose three maximum hit points. Mm. Let's go. And with this we're gonna come back to the others. Yeah. And the last thing also, would be... also, you do not uh, get benefit of a long rest. Do I get the benefit of a short rest? <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean. Oh, okay. From from this rest, you don't gain the benefits of it. All right. Yeah. What were you saying? Uh, like in that moment, his eyes would be bloodshot when he hears that, and pretty much like a like a rabid dog, just be much uh, rattle in his cage or whatever you may call the strap on that he has on the table mm. okay yeah all right let's go back yeah i oh, i'm finally done with with my uh with my armor now all i just right. need to do the sword and the flag <clears throat> can anyone right. guess this very important historical national hero that i drawn Hi, Hello. Hello. All right, everyone. Uh, shall we come back to the session? Yes. Hi. All right. Um, Tolfe. Yes. As you all are just having those conversations and all, you notice something moved. There was like this a little tiny movement. Uh, near one of the um, bushes around your camp. Could it be an animal? You're not quite sure what it was. Could it be wind? Could it be an animal? Did it seem like um, you know one creature ever, or or more like? You know? Um, you're not sure. There was just like this little wiggle of a branch on the bush. Just like. Tsh and that's it. Mm. I momentarily tense and focus on that area to see, you know, to see whether I will notice something more. Perception. Ooh, nice, 20. You focus in that area. You don't really... Like, you're kind of looking down, looking around that area. And at first there was nothing. But then just a bit further to the side. On another tree. Suddenly, a little scratch showed up. You're not sure where it came from. Like, it wasn't there, and then it shows there. Just like a little scratch, as if some, something hit it with a knife? You're not sure. Or with a claw, but just that little scratch and just a little bit of wood fell down. You didn't see what made it. I gently nudged Malakai. Yeah? I think something is watching us. Detect magic. <laughs> uh, are you casting it as a ritual? No. I'm burning the spell slot and casting it straight away. Alright, you cast Detect Magic. Uh, let me quickly double check something. Bear me. Uh, it is... Uh, no, I don't want to place a measure template cast spell. Uh, Boom. Okay. Dispel Magic. For the duration, super within 30 feet of... Oh, you sense... Uh, you can yeah. use action to see a faint aura. 
uh, around any visible creature or object in the area that bears magic, and you learn its school of magic, if any. Okay. Um, there is... Difficult to say. I'm gonna say there seems to be some faint feel of magic in the area, but you can't quite place it. You're not sure where is it, but you do sense some magic around you. Uh, I'll find a tofe. Uh, so, do my, my reverse incantation. Um, get that detection. Um, or apply to tofe. Like, putting my hand on my dagger underneath my coat. Actually, no, I think I have a rapier now, don't I? Yes, uh, I, yes do. I do. Put my hand on the rapier. Silver, silver rapier, yeah. Yeah. Uh, not just normal rapier, silver, silver short sword. Oh yeah. Uh, there's definitely there's definitely something around here that's given off magic. Um, I don't know if using my action count is that to detect the aura of magic around the thing, if I was to look around, but um, you can try to pick up a point to see whether it's it bears a magical aura. Okay. Then yeah, I'll sweep around the area, looking around, seeing do I see anything. Um, again, are you focusing on any particular place? No, I was gonna, like, slowly just turn, take my time, turn, and see, and do I detect them? Do I see the aura as I turn around? Um, I'm going to say there's a lot of objects in the area. So, okay. you may notice it eventually, but again, there's a lot of objects in the area. So, unless you pick something in particular, I'm going to say it would take you like a minute or two. Uh, if Tofe points out an area, then... Um, then so he, uh, does he? That area. Yeah, he, he definitely does. When, uh, when he said that he... Uh, but, uh, but he thinks that somebody's watching them, uh, he actually, uh, you know, like, points with his hands at the scratch he noticed mm -hmm. but like not in the very obvious way so that uh the observer potential observer uh you know so that it wouldn't be that obvious for for them that that they uh have been noticed mm -hmm. i'll look in that area and focus to see do i see an aura you look in that area you look towards the tree and, hmm. like, it appeared and disappeared for a moment there. But you saw just a flicker of illusion. Like, it appeared there, and then it's like, as, it, as if it's moved away. Uh, there was something there for a moment. Oh, shut up. Um, I'll definitely say. Uh, sorry, no. No, no, no. There's definitely something out there. It's trying to hide itself. Should we wake up the rest? And with well, this, my... as you guys are having this conversation, mm -hmm. sorry, I'm just setting you guys up on the map. We're gonna be rolling for initiative. <laughs> uh, give me a second. I'm just putting you all on the map. <laughs> okay. That's. Uh, we fighting. We probably got out of a fight. I know. I know. <laughs> Welcome to Barovia. I'm so Welcome glad Barovia, I cast this, um, this prayer of healing before. Welcome to Barovia, bitches. Yeah. Does that mean if, if I slept, does that mean I take a short rest? Can I heal up now? <laughs> uh, no, it's at the, at the end of the long rest, man. Oh. It's at the end of it. What? Uh, you should, you guys, do you okay. see the map? Yes. Uh, you can see the map. Yep, sorry, it took a second load. Yeah, you can yeah. see the map. All right, give me a second, guys. Just about to set us up. Let's get some music going, shall we? Uh, uh, let's get some bottle music. Some of this royalty-free music. And uh, Some of this royalty-free music. Thank you so much, Tabletop Audio. <laughs> uh, go ahead and roll the initiative. Oh, for once I roll quite okay. Everyone, right? Or just like the people who are awake? Um, everybody rolls. But uh, th those of you who are asleep are surprised. 
Aw, oh, damn it. Every every time I tried to roll there, every just someone else rolled and got higher, so my thing kept bumping down. I was like, okay. Dick? Mm-hmm. Are you rolling? I will. Yes. Did you forget how to do that again? No. Okay. I'll take that as a yes. I'll take that as a yes. Yeah. No, mm -hmm. no, I'm here. There you go. There you go. Okay. Also natural. Oh, nice. Nice, 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 nice. Well. But the boys are asleep, Dick. The boys are asleep. You're still asleep, though. Malakai. Hi. You're not sure what's happening at this moment. There's so movement. Like, you just saw movement coming from this tree over here. But you're not sure what it is. Like, you don't see what's causing it. But you do see this... Faint aura of illusion there, but you saw just okay. just just a little bit of movement from that direction. Okay. Um. What do you want to do? Let's see. Um. Oh, well, can I, I? I forget. No, I don't think I can. I can't with the rapier. I think I can with the. Sh Forget what properties weapons have. Sorry, real quick, I need to check something. Remember, remember that your friends are asleep. Yeah. Shit. Okay. Um. So, I'm going to, because I don't have a weapon out just yet. I'm going to pull out silvered long so the silvered short sword. That's a free action, isn't it? Uh yes. Uh, I'm going to. Oh, whoops. Gonna have that on hand. See, I'm trying to think what can I do that doesn't use the action because I want to say something to Tofe, just like be prepared or something. Mm -hmm. And then. Okay, I got some. I'm going to uh, move over to these two. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to kick them boat and go hey it's almost time for you to start waking up it's going to take your action though yeah not mana okay um you two have been awakened up roughly with a kick uh you still don't get your first round uh but at least you you will get one in this in the next round <laughs> rolling out of the spoon i guess mm. trying off the the uh salvia running from my mouth with Yes. Fifteen. Uh, I'm awake. What, by the what's way, happening? Uh, by the way, Dick Valentine, you're not wearing your armor at the moment. Yes. For the record. And with the last of my movement, I'm going to start making my way to a uh, Marlock. You do so. Is that the end of your turn? Action. What? Can... I can't even do anything with cunning action. Bear hide, and I don't want to hide. So yeah. Okay. Is that the end of your turn then? Actually, won't well, it? Uh, yes, giving no. Bardic Inspiration. I'm trying to think with that set. Um, actually, not. Yeah, no, I won't risk it. I won't give Bardic Inspiration just yet. Yeah, okay. no, that'll be an end of my turn. Sorry about that. I'm trying to think and plan. No worries. No worries. And with this. Ooh, let's see. You notice something. You don't... You can't quite see it clearly what it is. But suddenly... Let me just quickly roll. Uh, what's your AC? 14. Oh, you're good. Suddenly, you noticed Claw. This very long, almost hand-like Claw. Like, sorry, there's, like, there's a hand with those very long fingers that seem to be transforming into claws. It seems translucent. And you see it slash towards you. And you okay. just at the very last moment manage to jump out of the way. But you still do not see the creature. Like it appeared there for a, just a like, split second and tried to slash you. But it didn't manage to. You jumped out just in time not to get hit by it. 
and but then again, translucent humanoid form takes a step back away from you. you. Can if you want, you can take attack with disadvantage. Yeah, I'll take that opportunity to attack with the uh, silver sword sword silver short short sword, sword, sword. Mm -hmm. with disadvantage, please. Eighteen. That still hits. <laughs> Damage. That would have been a natural twenty. Mm -hmm. Okay. Attack. No, not attack. Ooh, damage. Normal. Four. That's four points of damage. You, like, almost as a reflex, you took your short sword and you just slashed it quickly through the air, uh, actually managing to pierce through the skin of the creature and you saw just, just a little bit of black blood splash across towards the tent uh, as you took your attack of opportunity against the creature. But still, the creature is still invisible. Okay. And that's going to be the end of its turn. Uh, Dick, we're going to skip you on the first turn. You're still surprised. Yes. Uh, now we're going to move to the next one. Next one. Oh, shit. Yeah, I'm just making some rolls. It's going for me, right? It, damn right it is. Oh, damn. Muna. Yeah? Like, you just noticed something attack Malakai. And you saw him, like, jump out of the way before it slashed him and just swing his swing his sword. And you just noticed that he seems to have caught something with his sword. And it just, it just sort of held your attention just before. Suddenly, you feel a slash go through you. And you take... Let me tell you. Ooh. Ooh. That's nice. That's really nice. You suddenly take 18 points of damage as you feel suddenly there is a four or five long claws go through your sight just from your back to your uh, to the front of your body splashing blood towards the ground. And you just saw again you did not see this coming. You didn't see where it came from, and you still do not see the creature. Um, not until it tries to move away from you. you. Only then you notice this. Again, it's thanks to the light of the of the campfire that you notice that it some there's just a little bit of movement going away from you. Um, do you take attack of opportunity? Okay. Yeah. You do so. I will. Go ahead. Um, disadvantage, right? Disadvantage, please. 15? 15 does hit. Damage. 8. 8 points of damage. Um, what were you hitting with? Oh, that was your short sword. You swing your yeah. short sword. Again, much like Malakai. Almost as a reflex. You, you felt that. It's like, ah, goddammit. And you just, like, uh, attacked with your short sword to the side. And you managed to catch whatever this is on the side of its body, and you manage to take, draw some blood from it um, as it moves away from you. Uh, that wasn't just, God damn it! that was a scream of pain! It was a scream of pain. I'm going to say that the scream of pain was enough to wake up Marlock. But you, Marlock, you, you're still oh. surprised this round. Okay. Um, Muna, it is your turn. What would you like to do? There seem to be some invisible assailants here. God damn it. I'm I'm thinking. <laughs> uh ten feet. Okay, I will try and for now cast po poison spray in the direction of uh where it moves away. Okay, could you just point to me where do you spray it? I'm gonna say it attacked you when it attacked you. It was somewhere over mm -hmm. here. And mm, when it moved I away, would... when it when it was moving away, it was uh, pointing downward, downwards. Mm -hmm. The poison spray has a reach of uh, 10 feet. Hmm? Where'd you cast it? I will... somewhere here. Roll me attack with disadvantage. Okay. Uh... Uh, 
how? Uh, because oh, it's, uh, it's oh, a that's DC. A, that's a saving throw. Okay, yeah. give me a sec. You puff your poison spray in that. Excuse me. You puff your poison spray in that direction, but it doesn't seem to reach anything. Well, uh, that was my action, and mm -hmm. I would like to move uh, closer to Dick and uh, Valentine. And yeah, I will move here. Go ahead. Okay, is that the end of your turn? Uh, can I say something? You can. Guys, something invisible just attacked us. And that's the end of your turn? Yes. Valentine, Richard, Malak. Sorry, Valentine, Richard, Malak, you all heard that. Still, you're surprised this round. Uh, uh -huh. Valentine? Sorry, Tofei, it is your turn. What would you like to do? You just saw something uh, draw blood from Muna. A lot of blood. Mm. It it wasn't raining recently. The ground is dry, right? It's reasonably dry. Okay, so uh, when I saw that Muna got attacked and then tried to spray it and she didn't manage, I uh, took the you know, fistful of of sand, and just uh, throw it around me to see whether it will, you know, fall on on the on something invisible. Mm, interesting. Um, I'm going to say if you're doing that, um, I'm going to make you roll me something. Uh, Go ahead and roll me sleight of hand, and whatever you roll is going to be the DC um, of the creature if it if it attacks you to not get caught in that. Okay. Twenty. So if that creature gets close to you, um, it will have to roll above twenty not to get uh, caught by your sand. Okay. All right. But that was your action. Yes. Do you use your bonus action for anything? Uh, yes, I would like to prepare uh, Shilaila. You do so. Is that the end of your turn? Uh, does my little sand trick mean that I cannot move, or can I? Does your what, sorry? Sand trick. Sand trick? Yeah, the, the, the thing that's... Oh, 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 sorry. At the moment, you do not see anything. But it's, I'm going to say that it's going to hold up should you get attacked in this round. Okay, so I um, step back to be closer to the group. You do so. Just be aware when and you... And also to have the fire on one side, you know, as the natural just, barrier. Yeah, yeah, just to let you know, when you move away from it, you move away from the... Let's call it protection that it gives you. Because whatever whatever wants to get close to you can now move around it. Yeah, that that's why she was asking uh, if. Uh... Oh, sorry. Yes, yeah, sorry. I was under impression that you're asking whether something's already in your area and to take and is going to take attack opportunity. Uh, no, no. I wanted to. Yeah. Oh, sorry. I I misunderstood you. Um, no, I'm going to say that if you move away from it. Uh, then you move away from it. You know, something can move around it. Sorry, my bad. Uh, so I'm not going. I'm going to say you, you don't lose your movement. You can still be there if you want to. Because there was my, okay, there was, so I, was misunderstanding. So I do stay uh, within. Okay, so you stay where you were. Okay, so that was here. Yeah. Okay, is that the end of your turn? Uh, yes, it is. Okay, so we're gonna move past these two guys who don't deserve a turn, uh, and then we're gonna move over here. And we're gonna do. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Hmm. Which one of you gentlemen looks like a uh, better one to attack? I'm gonna roll. 
Yeah, that's gonna be Valentine. All right, that's gonna get close to Valentine, and it's gonna make an attack. Twenty-two to hit. Hits. Are you sure? <laughs> and you take. Still on the ground. Mm -hmm. You suddenly feel five piercing claws go through your arm and through your and through like the the side of your chest, piercing through your skin as you take twelve. Uh, sorry, let me just let me just clarify this. Uh, which damage you take? You take two slashing damage and six necrotic. Uh, no, sorry. Uh, it's sorry. It's six slashing and six necrotic. My bad. Nope. And then you have an attack of opportunity if you want, with disadvantage. Ah, uh, yeah, I'll let that. Down. Go ahead. Mm -hmm. Thirteen. Thirteen does not hit. All right. And. Um, Creature is going to move away from you, and then it's going to be this turn. Okay, so this one is going to have to make me a saving throw. It's pretty good in those, so let's see. Natural twenty. <laughs> Sorry, Tofe. <laughs> Sorry, yeah. Tofe, it was, it was a good plan. It was a good plan, but it rolled a natural 20. Um, unfortunately, you do not see the creature getting close to you. Um, oh, that's a shitty attack. But you still managed to... Just as, you, just as you heard a little bit of movement rustling behind you, you still managed to just sort of fall, jump forward just before a claw goes behind goes where your neck was. And again, creature disappears. Uh, you can take attack of opportunity if you want. And I do. Go ahead with disadvantage, please. Okay. Use your shillelagh. So it's uh, using your wisdom modifier. You can just roll a normal attack and we will just use your uh, wisdom modifier instead. Mm hmm. Actually, I wonder if I can change what your quad stuff is doing for attacks. I should be able to. Uh, 16 das. Oh, uh, disadvantage, please. Oh, sorry. Um, so, two times, right? Yeah, uh, just, just roll a second time. Just roll a second time. Oh, okay. Natural one. No. Mm. You take a swing with your shillelagh and you try to hit whatever it is that's lurking behind you, but you do not manage to hit it. And with this. Malakai, it is your turn. Okay. Uh, everyone's awake now, so... I guess I'll... Uh, sorry, I'm still... I'm still iffy on the way the tech magic works. Is it that I still have to use my action to see yes. the aura, or will I just it, see it in it general? Specif it specifically says it there that you can detect magic around you, but if you want to see the aura, you need to use your action to, to try and detect it. It says that specifically. Um, okay. Uh, in the way that I got attacked before, this way? Um, it would have been somewhere from this end. Oh, I would. I was attacked down. Oh, sorry. I thought it was this way before. Okay. Mm -hmm. So from this way, do I see anything? If I, we... uh, if you use your action, yes, you do. Using your action, see illusion aura around here. Around there. Okay. Um, my action. Okay. A uh, bonus action. I'm going to. Uh, no, I won't do that yet. Uh, yeah, no. Uh, that's my action. I'll take... Mm -hmm. Sorry, I'm trying to figure this out now. Do I run... Fuck it, yeah, I'll run the risk. I'll take... I'll uh, use bonus action to... No, I won't use bonus actions to inspire. I'll take a step forward. 
hope this works the way I'm hoping it will. Yeah, I'll take a step forward. Because if so? it's coming from here, I have an idea of what I want to do. Mm -hmm. uh, so I'll use my action. Not using my bonus action because I want to waste that just waste what I'm planning just yet. And yeah, end turn. Okay, you end your turn there. Just give me a second, I'm just doing something. Give me a second, guys. Um, All right. Um, sorry, sorry, guys, just give me a moment, please. Hello, I'm sorry, my mom, my mom just called me. I don't know oh, what's going on. Uh, sorry, just a second, guys. I'm just doing something quickly. Just do that. Just do that. Yeah, there we go. All right. Uh, so that's the end of your turn, yeah? Yep. Okay. With this, um, it's actually its turn. Okay. It's going to attack you. Uh, cutting words. Cutting words. What does it do? Remind me. Uh, uh, cutting words, um, I use a bardic inspiration, mm -hmm. um, and actually I'll just, oh, you just I'll post you just, it. You just, you just yeah. roll and it goes, um, oh, right. I roll a d6. Uh, you roll a d6 and it goes to its, uh, you, you remove it from the damage, from the attack roll, yeah? Against you. Yeah. Okay. Alright, uh, let me see. Uh, go ahead and roll. Six. That's uh, minus six. What's your AC again? Fourteen. It's just enough. Okay. You, rolled, you rolled nineteen. No, it's just enough. As an in, enrolled nineteen, you rolled a six, so it just goes oh. right below you. Yeah. Um, again, you use your cutting words, and you can you you saw the claw going right at your face, and it was about to get you. Um, but then you spat out some words. I don't know what are you saying. Are you saying something in particular? Uh. No, I don't have anything, okay. any smart ass comments to make right now. No worries, I'll think no of something better in the future. No worries. no worries. You spat out something in your language towards whatever it is that's oh. attacking you. And uh, the claw actually stops there for a moment. Just enough time for you to jump away before it hits you. Uh, and then it's going to try and move away. And... Malachi, I'm gonna say Marlock is still prone. Uh, yeah, but it's already your turn. Marlock and Malachi, you both get attack of opportunity with disadvantage. Okay. All right then. Let's attack with this again. Twelve. Uh, disadvantage. Right? Yeah. Disadvantage. Oh, that's disadvantage. Roll me damage! Yeah. Roll me damage! <laughs> With that disadvantage. 15? Whoa! Whoa! <laughs> that, that is going to hurt it! Um, remind me how much... Oh, hang on, I need to quickly check something. I'll go on a limb and say my 12 didn't hit. No, no, no hang on, hang on. Yeah, your 12 didn't hit, but I need to quickly check something with you, Malakai. Because... Oh, you rolled 4 piercing damage before. Holy shit, that's actually... An... That's, that's exactly... That's exactly it. Um, yeah, <laughs> that's, that just does it. Uh, so as you sort of swing with your axe, like, you're still quite just barely awake, but you just kind of grab your axe and you just like swing it uh, wildly. Yeah, no. And as you do, you actually carve through the belly of the creature that now becomes visible as it falls down onto the ground. And let me describe oh. to you guys what it is you see. What you see is this grey-skinned humanoid creature. It almost has human physique, but it's barely visible, it's almost translucent. It doesn't seem to have any particular, any particular features, recognizable features. It's had no hair, and its hands have those long fingers that transform into claws. I'm gonna show you a picture of what you see. I feel like um, you just the skin <laughs> Okay. This is what you guys see. Uh, and this creature seems to be currently dead on the ground. Oh, okay. And this is going to get removed from the initiative. And with that, Dick, you woke up. Yeah. It is your turn. You're prone at the moment. And without your armor, but you can now take your turn. 
Well, I will get up. You get up, that's half your movement. And... Did, did I see where the the attacker was last time? Um, roll me a perception check. Let's see if you did. Um, you saw an attack going towards Valentine from this location before. And I guess I am close enough to just say. Huzzah! And then... Do you attack? Slice, slice the, the, uh, yeah. I don't... Go ahead, roll me your my... attacks. Roll me your attacks. Um, on... Silver the long sword. Because you've got yes. uh, two weapon fighting, you can actually roll all of your attacks. Awesome. <laughs> oh, shit. Continue. A deck. Yes. Oh, uh, you have a Ooh. second attack with your longsword. Oh yeah, that's true. But that's a, a two-handed. No, that's a one-handed. One-handed, one-handed, please. Hey. You slash once, slash twice, slash three times, and you hit nothing. Whatever you're hitting, ah. it's not there. Okay. The creature moved away <laughs> after the attack. Yeah, yeah, I can imagine. Okay, um, yeah, then then he kind of just crawls back, and the next time he will try and then get dressed. Oh, if you want to, if you want to try and don your armor, that takes like ten minutes. Oh yeah. Yeah. Well, that's true. Yeah. Um. I really need to start sleeping with armor and saying that I'm sleeping with armor. No, no, no. You don't want to sleep with armor because if you do that, I'm going to have to roll. I'm going to have you roll for exhaustion. Ah, okay. Okay, <laughs> that's, okay. That's kind of that's kind of the joy of, of sleeping on the road. Yes, I'm I'm fighting without then. Is that? Is that the end of your turn? Yes, this is the end of my turn. Okay, with this we're going to move to the turn of another one of these lovely things. Um, which is going to have to... Hmm. Yeah. yeah. I know exactly what it's going to do. Um, Muna. Another attack towards you. I want you to take... use Warding Flare. <laughs> you use Warding Flare and it appears to have no effect. God damn it! Because these creatures are actually uh, invulnerable, I immune to being blinded. <laughs> uh, as you it. take, as you take, eleven damage. Uh, but oh. you get to, you get to take an attack of opportunity though, as it's going to try and move away from you. You said uh, eleven, right? Uh, yes, 11 points of damage, and you can take uh, attack opportunity if you want. I will try... A disadvantage, please. I know. Nope. Wow, that's, well, that was a bad roll. That does not hit. And the creature moves away from you. Are you mm -hmm. sure? I'm pretty sure one should be strong enough. Um, actually, um, Muna, I got a quick question yeah. for you. Yes? When... Can you describe to me exactly how you cast spells? Mm. How does how does Moon what does Muna do when she casts spells? I need to know that. Hi. <laughs> does she does she, how does she use her arcane focus? Uh, she is presenting it. Uh, how? Like in front of her. Like is she looking into it or is she presenting it in front of whatever is there? Where, well, she's uh, like glancing in into the uh, mirror, herself. but the uh, on, at herself, yes. But the the face of the goddess is in front of the enemy. Understood. Okay. Sorry, just needed to know that for no reason. Mm -hmm. Don't worry, it's not important. Um, yeah, right. And with that, it's your turn, actually. Ah, uh, 
Okay. I have a quick question. Mm -hmm. Can I cast uh, a spell that is uh, 20 foot cube? Mm -hmm. Like not the, the way, you know, this way, but some kind of this oh, way? Yeah. yeah, you can, you definitely can, yes. Okay, then I will move closer to Tolfei. Mm hmm. Not this. And I don't, don't, know, don't know if this is a good idea, but I would like to cast a uh, fairy fire. Ooh, interesting. Very interesting. Um, Post it? You... Yes, please, if you could. Uh. Should I place measure measure template because I don't know if it's Oh don't worry, don't worry. Be... I know I know where you're putting it. Don't worry. Okay, uh, give me a sec. Ooh, interesting. Yes. It actually catches it. Hey. It looks like um you see one of what color is it? Your fi your fire. Uh, my fire would be, uh, gold. Gold. You see, like, you cast your fairy fire and suddenly you see this weird golden flame envelop a creature right over here, similar to the other one that's currently there on the ground, dead. Um, it seems somewhat hurt, but you can see it now. Mm. Okay. Uh, but that was my action, actually. Mm -hmm. And oh, I can't really do much beside that. So, yeah, that would be end of my turn. That is the end of your turn, then. And with this, Marlock, it is your turn. You are prone at the moment. I am prone. Well, I'm going to stand up. Mm -hmm. That's half your movement. Yeah. And then, uh, it's still there, right? Yeah. Um, but there's, yeah, you can, you can see it. I'm going to move. Oh, actually, no, there's fire there, huh? No, 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 don't worry. Like, this is, this is fairy fire. It doesn't hurt anyone. And it's already Maybe. cast. So if you go there, it's not going to affect you. Okay, then. Did Tofa play his turn? Sorry, I wasn't paying attention. Oh no! I... Why did why did I skip by Tolfe? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Why did you skip Tolfe? Exactly. My bad. I, sorry. I I'm don't sorry. know, but I was, I, I I was waiting for you to stop talking and then. Oh, I, I know why. I know uh, why. That's that's because Muna. That's because Muna actually clicks end of turn and it does, and I click yeah. uh, next turn as well. So that is because why. Because I remembered. Yeah. Sorry, Tolfe. 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 It is your turn. My bad. Go for it, Tolfe. Okay. So. I would like to... Wait a minute, where did it... Would you like to rage, Tolfe? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, sure, that's what I, that's what I do, usually. <laughs> what do you do, Tolfe? I... Just out of character, can mm -hmm. it happen that one of my prepared spells disappears from my list? Um... No, shouldn't do. Why? Did, did it? I, well, I'm pretty sure that I had Entangle, but now I don't have it. Uh, no, it's there. Is uh, it? It's just, uh, I think you must, must have clicked to unprepare it, but it's there. I just clicked it to prepare oh, okay. it for you. There you go. Okay, so... Um... So I would like to... Um... Cast Entangle. Where'd you cast it? Um, and now comes the moment when uh, it, when it's going to be pretty obvious that I have no idea how to use it. Mm -hmm. But like it's twenty for twenty, right? Uh, yeah, it's it's the same. It's the same what what Muna just had. So what you see over here, this is the this is the kind of area you can cast it on. This is this is this is the how big the square can be. Okay, so I would like to do it, but like um, a little bit upward and to the left, so that you know, like 
Uh, so like here, you know, like, you, but here me, and here is also checked. Okay, so let me just uh, draw it for you. Is okay. Hang on, I'm using the wrong bloody thing. Hang on, there we go. Is this what you're going for? Uh, yes. Okay, you cast Entangle on that area. Go ahead and post the spell so that it counts your um, spell slots and all. Okay, you cast it there. And let me just roll something. But nothing seems to happen. You see the weeds and vines sprout from the ground, but they don't seem to catch anything in there. Is this the end of your turn? Uh, By the way, uh, at this point, uh, the sand that you had around you has fallen down. It was holding up mm -hmm. until the start of your turn. Yeah, yeah, of course. Mm -hmm. um, quickly... Yeah, that is the end of my turn. Marlock, it's your turn. Hello. So, I am going to stand up still. You do so. Uh, let's see. I'm going to rage because I got a... Uh, you know, I got woken from my beauty sleep. I didn't okay. like that. You go yeah. rage. And I'm assuming you're using your uh, thingy, yeah? By what now? Uh, your thingy, the storm thingy. Yes. On the only enemy that you can see. Uh, yes, what's, definitely. What's, what's the range of it? Because you don't remember. Uh, let me post it for you. Thank you. Over here. I think it's called Storm Aura or something like that. Yeah. Uh, let's see, that is... You can choose one other creature you can see in your... Oh! Interesting! So it doesn't actually specify the range! That's curious. Nice! So I have, a, so I have no range. So yeah, uh, it's, within, is... within his aura. Um, oh, within... Okay, but how big is the aura? Um hey. 10 feet, so no, it's not It's not within your aura at the moment, unfortunately. Yeah. Okay, you rage. I'm gonna... Can I... Wait, hold on. If I go into the... Where Tophrey entangled... I'm just gonna to... remove... I'm just gonna remove that body, so that you know, see where okay. you are. Um, okay. Okay, so that's uh, 5 feet, 10 feet... And 5 feet, and that's the end of your... Well, how much movement do you have? I have... Remember, you used half your movement to get up. I did. God damn it! All right, so uh, right here, then, right? Mm-hmm. No, you were. Okay. So you started. You started over here, and you have half your movement to get where you want to get. Or you can dash if you want to. Mm. Yeah, I could. Yeah, definitely. You're gonna dash, okay? Are you dashing to get to the creature? Yes. Okay. Where do you wanna? Like you've got enough movement to get to the creature, so just put your token where you where you want it to be. I'll put it right here. Oh, do you know to actually get to it? Yeah, I'm gonna. Well, yeah, I'm gonna be. Yeah, I'm gonna be right here. Okay. Um. Do I'm you? Ready. What do you do? Do you want to use your um, hunter's axe or something? Yeah, well, the storm aura goes into effect at this point, right? Um, hang on, with this effect, you can choose... No, but that's when the effect is activated. Okay, then. So, it's going to be at the start of its turn that it's going to be doing it, I think. Oh, uh, right, Oh, no, sorry, no, yeah. it's going to be start of your turn, actually. Okay. That's fine, then. Um, yeah, I'll use the Hunter's Act. Yeah, I just I just thought about it. Your hunter's axe to actually extend it, it's a bonus action, and you already use bonus action to rage, so it's gonna have to be next uh, turn. Damn it! All right, then I yeah, I'll just move closer. And give myself okay. okay. That, that was even... a roller coaster. Yeah, is that even your turn? Right. Yes. Give me one second. Oh, can I? That's it, right? Yeah. That's the end of your turn, yeah. Yeah. Oh, I can't attack, right? Uh, unfortunately not. No. You already used your action yeah. to dash. Yeah, that's fine. Uh, okay, and with that, Valentine, it is your turn. Valentine? Hello? I was muted. Okay. I was muted. I was muted. Mm -hmm. And whew, how far is it? It's within my range. So I'm gonna. Valentine is gonna stand up quickly. Uh, pretty much grabbing his sword still. Uh, 
for anyone who's looking, Val Valentine is sweating. Mm -hmm. And he's breathing heavily and just looking around, he just shakes it and starts running toward the first visible creature. Is it this one? Uh, it would seem to be. Do you have enough movement? Because you're, yes. you just have your movement to get up. Uh, yes, uh, 20, okay. 20. Oh yeah, and you are not affected by difficult terrain because mobile, right? Is this a difficult terrain? Yes, uh, Tolfe just made it a difficult terrain. Uh, I am affected unless I'm dashing, so... Ah, okay. Yeah, yeah. Tolfe made it difficult terrain because he did the uh, vines and sprouts and shit, uh, and tangle. Mm. Smart. Uh, whew, so that's going to be... That's going to be a bit difficult. If I can move here, actually. 15. Yeah, Valentine's going to move here. Mm -hmm. Do so. Oh. I don't think I have movements left, right? So I move no, like I don't this. Think so. Unless you dash. Yeah, I know. Uh, then, uh, sorry, can I ret retake my action? Can sure. I uh, retract? Sure. Yeah, sorry. Uh, can I... uh, that's messy, messy up. So I'm just gonna reach for my uh, bl uh, my uh, gun. Mm-hmm. And I would like to curse the target in front of me with my Hexblade's curse. Okay, so this this one over here, yeah? Yes, the one I can see. And mm -hmm. I'm gonna okay. shoot it twice. Okay, go ahead and post it for me. Your Hexblade curse. Uh, you need to remove. Oh, Hexblade's curse. There you go. Uh, cursed from one minute. And so, okay, gotcha. Uh, go ahead. Roll me your two attacks. Right. Uh, they are... Vendor? They are advantage because I believe that. Uh, let me just double check, but I'm pretty sure that fairy fire stops invisibility, doesn't it? Um, uh. I'm just double checking to be sure. Um, any yeah, any attack roll. Yeah, yeah, if attack, uh, object can't be, be, yeah, object can't benefit yeah. from being invisible. So yes, it's with advantage. Uh, yeah, that's a hit. Mm -hmm. Damage. Uh, that's five uh, that's plus. Five. Did you get, did the you get three a bonus? is the half blade curse. Okay, so that's already adding it. Okay, that's uh, five points of damage. Still alive. Uh, that's gonna be another one. That's a hit. And that does it. It's dead. Oh, it's dead. Good. I heal back something. Let me double check what it is. Five plus four. Good. I think is it your proficiency bonus? Yes, plus three. Okay. That's going to be the end of my turn as I hold the blade to my side now. And I'm going to say, yeah, I'm going to say with Dick. Let's make it a group of two. That's the okay. end of my turn. All right. With this. Hmm. Let's see. Who's going to be now viewed as the most threatening here? Valentine has done a lot of damage here. Yeah, but so did Muna with that fairy fire. It didn't okay. do any damage. No, mm -hmm. but it's but it's enabled doing damage. That's the problem here. Uh, yeah, I reckon it's gonna go after Muna. Damn, they smart. Well, okay. Twenty-five to hit. <laughs> oh, of course. I just wanted to double check, just to be sure. Oh, uh, no, 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 I can't, uh, because it's not affected. Never no. mind. Unfortunately not, no. 13 points of damage. Uh, Yeah, I'm down. You're down. Oh, That's as, a zero. As you feel another slash, this time going through your back. Um, and you lose consciousness. But Tolfe, you get to take an attack of opportunity if you'd like. I do, certainly. Uh, by the way, Muna, 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 Muna. Which yeah. way you were? Which way were you turned? I just want to know. Uh, I believe. Yeah. Okay. Here. Um, roll me a perception check quickly. And Tolfe, you as well, but you with disadvantage. Nine. Tolfe, you also roll with disadvantage perception, please. Tolfe. Just before Muna got hit, 
in her mirror that she holds in her hand, behind her back, you saw the creature. You don't see it normally, but you do see it in a mirror. As you see it slash Muna as she drops to the ground. Uh, the creature is now going to move away from you. Tofa, you get to take an attack of opportunity. Disadvantage. Yes. Uh, give me a sec. Give me a sec. Ow. I was hoping that the mirror will help to be without disadvantage. No, unfortunately not. Second attack, please. No, because he's uh, not hes not holding the mirror. Oh, uh, no. You had it and you dropped. Oh. No, that's, oh, no. that's not, that's not hit, unfortunately. And the creature goes away from you. And now it's going to be the turn of the second one. And the second one is going to take care of the... Uh, Hmm, it's going to go after Valentine or after Dick. Now, definitely Valentine, because he's the one who's done a lot of damage here. It's going to go after Valentine. And it's going to be... Uh, 15 to hit. Remember, you're without your armor. Does that hit? Uh, yes. Okay. That is... Uh, 12 damage to you. All right. And you get an attack of opportunity. Disadvantage. I do? Yeah, disadvantage. Mm -hmm. All right. String my sword to the sword. Uh, where is it? There you go. Does not hit. Uh, uh, just double what? checking something. Sorry, it, it says a minus. I should have used my Eldritch Blade. Uh, yeah, I don't think it hits either way. Go ahead. No, it wouldn't have hit in it either way, so yeah. Mm. Okay, and that's going to be the end of its turn. Malachi, it is your turn. Oh, um, so... Uh, I found something interesting out when I was reading through my spells. Mm -hmm. For Vicious Mockery, I don't need to see the thing. I just need to know it exists and it can that's hear correct. me. That is correct. So, seeing that Moon has fell, I'll shout in this general direction. Mm-hmm. Because 60 feet range, mm -hmm. I can't even see that far. That's fine. Mm -hmm. I'll shout in the general direction. Uh, what's an insult? Uh, okay, well, not. Uh, I'll I'll shout out in celestial because why not? Fuck it. He doesn't have to understand me. Mm -hmm. uh, no, go away or I'll taunt you a second time, and I cast this vicious mockery. Okay. Uh, what's what's the save on that one? Uh, I think it's it wisdom. wisdom. I'm, I'm I'm popping it into chat now. DC 15 wisdom. Okay. Uh, natural one. <laughs> Roll me damage. Uh, boom. Six That's damage. Six points of damage. And on its next attack, it's not going to be rolling with advantage. That's pretty good. Mm. And I'll use the rest of my turn. To move to yeah five ten. This is difficult terrain, so mm -hmm. to get there. That's ten. Why is my thing to oh, not working? Oh, you can because you, you can you one. can use control. If you yeah, no, I was using control. It wasn't registering for whatever reason. That's okay. ten. Right, fifteen. You. Yeah, I'll move to I'll move the fifteen feet to there. Okay. Um, token. And because I'm using Vicious Mockery, uh, I'm going to take out my dagger and put it in my offhand, so I have the short sword on my dagger. Gotcha. Is that the end of your turn? Yep. Alright, and with that, uh, Dick, it is your turn. You just saw um, Muna drop down. Actually, yeah? I would like to bring something up. Because uh, we reached the usual end of our Oh, yes session. we did. Yes oh, we did. Yeah. Okay, uh, shall we end the session here? I am going to be a sick of mud. I really have to take okay. my leave. Fair yeah. enough. No, that makes sense. Okay. Well, it's a good place as any. Dick's turn mm -hmm. is always a good place to end, to end the session. Uh, By the way, especially because my brain is already asleep. Yeah. There we go. 
So I think that's a good place to end the session. So thank you so much, everyone, for attending today's session. I'm hoping that everybody had fun tonight. Um, mm -hmm. And okay. thank you so much, everybody watching us. Uh, and I'm hoping that you guys had fun watching us. Um, and I'm gonna Hope. see you all next week uh, at 6 p.m. on Saturday, London time. Thank you so much, yeah. and um, I'll see you all. Have a good day. Thank you, Thank you very much. Bye, guys. Thank you. Bye. 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 Bye.